entertained for him. Okay. We here. Young Doom. Young Doom Avelli. Tell them who you are. Educate these people. Hey, yo. It's Club Doom, a.k.a. the guy who made the best Donna True review on YouTube, a.k.a. the guy who made the Sector Complex <clears throat> Psy Remix. Talk to him. Talk to him. Yep. Tell, flex on him. The guy who, uh, well, well, like the third guy probably to piss Smash Bandicoot off. Ooh, talk that <laughs> shit, Young King. Talk that mm -hmm. shit. Well, it is a pleasure to have you here, man. Thank you for taking the time to uh, look at uh, one of the greatest content creators of our time, Dylan Guptill, with oh. myself. Yes. I, I. You see, I've been wanting to like do a stream on him, but I keep forgetting his name. And that's why I never done one yet. <laughs> that's, but, that's the kind of professionalism we strive for here. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's, ah, man, it's like, ah. <laughs> well, no, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah. so I've I've got some deep cuts of his actually. Uh, so not the usual stuff. Of course, we're gonna go back and watch the classics too. And oh, yeah, um, you gotta. <laughs> and I have a few extra folks. If uh, I know you, you got some stuff that you gotta get to uh, at a certain point. So hopefully, yeah. But hopefully we, we can we can get all that in. But um, mm -hmm. I'll just stream my shit to you. And hello, everyone in chat. Hello, hello. Appreciate all you being here. It's a fun time. We're gonna have a lot of fun. What's everyone saying? Sup, Club Doom. Mod chat. Mod chat. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's up? <laughs> All wrenches. That's most definitely what's up. That is most definitely what's up, Tubes. <laughs> okay. What we got here? Can you see uh, where I got there? You got like a million tabs open. You don't have to you don't have to fucking say that to these people, okay? You don't What I they love don't know. about it though. I have it a, I have a crop dad. They don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it, it takes me back because I, I knew a guy in college. I, I would go to the commuter's lounge, and there was, like, this guy. He did two things in particular. He would scream at his reflection in the soda machine. Nice. And then another thing he would do was he would have this many tabs open on his laptop. And, and we love that. The same, all of the same Nostalgia Critic video, and he would play <laughs> all simultaneously. <laughs> hello, 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 I am the Nostalgia Critic. Yes. At at max volume, and you know, <laughs> I just figured I let him do his thing. He's chill. It low key honestly, funny. Honestly, that's some god shit, man. Hello, I'm in style yeah. critic. I reviewed <laughs> so you don't have to. So where did okay? So we have we what have you're about to see. We have a rare Dylan Guptill here. Okay. Oh yeah. This is the lost sequel to the the top ten hottest Sonic females. Damn. Yes, and it's lost because Dylan himself took it down because people were making commentary videos and making fun of him at the time. Um, so it was it was essentially lost. But this person on YouTube found a commentary and cut out all of the commentary breaks to recreate the original cut of of this video, the top ten prettiest Sonic females. So I don't know if you guys are ready. I know I ain't. Because cause it's it's gonna it's gonna get crazy from here. Let's let's grab an OJ. <laughs> grab a glass of OJ and jump right in. He is a highly revised version of the 2010 Valentine's Day special showcasing the top 10 prettiest female characters in the universe of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, now, yeah. the original version mostly focused on their appearances and not their personalities and skills. I also didn't do enough research, so there were a couple of mess-ups. This is like the director's cut. Like, I like how he's prefacing this video going like, I've, I've improved. 
from that original version you saw in the theaters. This is my true vision for the top ten prettiest Sonic Sonic females. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like uh, yeah, I don't know why, but I was about to compare it to when Ski Mask leaked the book of Eli. This is what yeah, he really wants is, people to hear. This is what they stopped. Yeah, this is like. The uh, Stanley Kubrick, like, seven hours of footage on the cutting room <laughs> floor version. Now, I want to get one very important thing straight. There is nothing even remotely sexual or, quote, pedophilic about this list, and there never was. Lists oh, like these are totally meant to be silly and fun. <laughs> He's just calling everyone out, going like, I am sick and tired of this bullshit, man. I'm trying to live my <laughs> life, drink my glass of milk. You guys said doing your mom to me. <laughs> Y'all the ones bringing up the... I I am about that static. Why does he look like Howard Hamlin Artie? Bruh, that, bruh, dead ass. I was about to say, he looked like uh, Gary Busey if Gary Busey got, like, hit by a Koopa. <laughs> like, downgraded. He needs the mushroom again. God damn it. The problem with some of you is that you felt it wise to take it to the extreme by calling me a furry. Please. Please. And even though you were offering me constructive criticism... <laughs> That's he sick. ranked all the cartoon animal characters. That is sick that he's just taking no prisoners going like, You guys have the problem. Yeah, th this dude, this is more fire than Kamikaze. Yeah, genuinely, this is like his scoopity poop, whoopity whoop uh, video. He's just, <laughs> this is like the hardest diss. This is the story of Adidon. <laughs> you were still being way off base and spreading a lie. Bottom line, talk to think him, Guptil. hard before you talk and grow up. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, let's fucking go. God damn. Talk to them, Dylan. Bing pong. <laughs> okay, uh, ten dollars from shit talk me p boner. Yes. Thank. Yes. Is that a What's is that, that a frequent Doom fan? Yeah, he's a. Uh, well, I first heard about him in Rogue Stream because he was in a Rogue Out of Context compilation. Okay. Um, he then started showing up on my stream. He's a cool dude, and he drew the still. Oh shit! That's yeah. dope. Well, thank you, yeah, Shitcock yeah. McPee Boner. Message says, what up, Doom and Brains? Just popping in real quick before I gotta go back to work. Here's some dosh before I go? Question mark. Well, thank you very much, Shitcock McPee Boner. <laughs> yep, he's an OG, man. He's an OG. Hey, slat, slat, slime time. <laughs> well, <laughs> all the time. Now that I got that off my chest, enjoy. <laughs> that was like... That was like his fucking uh, pipe bomb moment. That was his uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking sat down in the Austin shirt. <laughs> it was just like, okay, all right, you will, you want to hear about what's really wrong with the Sonic fandom? Let's talk about it. Ah, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. One of the most excellent superheroes ever created. He can run at the speed of sound and take out enemies in a flash. Since 1991, anyone who owned a Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive played his games to death. Like most franchises, there's a list Dude, of female characters mom? to accompany the males. Dude, and like mom? the boys, many of them have supernatural oh, yeah. Look at characters to so, accompany yeah, yeah, the males. So yeah, whatever. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. a... Top ten, top ten hottest uh, Sonic male characters. <clears throat> uh, number one, Eggman. Yeah. Number two, Robotnik. Mm -hmm. Number three, the other Robotnik from that one show. Number four, <laughs> Big. You know why they call him Big, right? And like the boys, many of them have supernatural powers. Because they always tell the ball. Unlike human superheroes like the X-Men, this Sonic cast succeeds in being adorable while acting... Number oh, five, I that... <laughs> I like the X Men who are fucking ugly. The Sonic cast looks great. What the fuck yeah, was with the it. shade to the X Men? Fucking Charles Xavier caught a stray there. Goddamn. I know, right? 
Logan. These... I, lo I love how he says it during like this frame yeah. in particular when like Amy's got Amy's one off leg. model and got one leg. It's like unlike those fucking disgusting looking X Men, those filthy mutants. Senator Kelly was right. Tough. Whether they fly, use robotic limbs to their advantage, or have the magical ability to make a powerful hammer appear, they're equally as fun to enjoy as the boys. This is why I've been inspired to make a top 10 list of the most beautiful female Sonic nice. characters. Grab a chili dog and a glass of orange juice and hold on. That's such a rancid combo. That seems like something Cobes would do. That, like... that just sounds like ga that sounds like gastric reflux. That's not like, you don't even got to eat it. Just hearing it, I'm already feeling it in my esophagus. I just like the fucking Cobes going like, "All right, Cobes, we got." A bunch of OJ and chili dogs for frying Bruh. this up with the OJ. <laughs> Bruh, imagine how hype it would be if, like, 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 fucking Cobra streaming, and he's like, today for this sick food drink combo, I got a guest, and it's just fucking <laughs> up. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Cobes. First things first, I gotta address the allegations. You guys said a lot of mean things over the past ten years. <laughs> ten years, Marty. You guys will be making fun of me for nine and a half years. Tight, because we're speeding up to meet these beauties. Yeah. Number ten is to call the echidna. She was named after an ancient Mayan city of the same name and is the daughter of the echidna tribe chief, Pakamak. While she does look gorgeous, the reason I put her at the bottom of the list is because she's one of those characters. While she is a fucking baddie, god damn, to call. <laughs> she's, well, she is a baddie. She's also a nag. If you've ever played Adventure 1, she does not shut up. Oh, man. My man Doom knows. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah this that's bitch stay talking. <laughs> That's probably why her dad in, like invaded whatever the fuck, doing whatever the fuck they was doing in Adventure mm -hmm. One, despite her, uh, you know, requesting not to. He probably just like, I'm sick of her just talking about it. I'm gonna do it anyway. You know, you know, fucking That's Knuckles twice. leaned in the Sonic and went like, Yo, we we gotta get this bitch back in the Emerald, dog. <laughs> she it ain't worth she it. She stay talking, bro. <laughs> We must get rid of her. <laughs> that doesn't do much in the action department. Yeah, and she's a ghost. However, she becomes a hero by trapping herself in the Master Emerald so that the water god Chaos doesn't rain terror upon the land for hundreds of years. Don't you think that being the offspring of a person in the highest power would... This is... is a, this is not kosher fan yeah, art. Yeah, you can, you can tell by how it's drawn. It's got this, that... <laughs> Like, like, there's coaster. a little too much detail. There's a little too much detail for it to be official Sonic art. Yeah, pan down, Dylan. Pan down. Let's see what's going on down there. Ooh, that that ain't kosher. But feel good? I sure do. <laughs> Coming in at number nine is Amy Rose. There she is. Being the self-appointed girlfriend of Sonic, she chases him all the time and hugs him whenever she sees him. However, she has mistaken others for Sonic. Who most are you? the faker Shadow and the telekinetic Silver. I can understand mistaking Shadow because he has similar looks, but not Silver because his appearance is obviously different. Yeah, Guptill coming with straight facts. Amy has like astigmatism or something because she stayed <laughs> fucking up. And yet, Werehog Sonic, she's like, who the fuck is this man? Where is Sonic? Yeah, the one time it is Sonic. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the fuck is this dude? <laughs> Amy's outfits have changed numerous times throughout the years, and I'll tell you, she has quite the wardrobe. Oh yeah, she dressed Always out. willing to look cute, but during a battle, All Amy Rose will have you asking for more action and adventure with her. Who's at number eight? It's Fiona Fox, an Archie Comics exclusive. Oh, she used to be a hero, but then switched go. sides simply because she prefers the darker side of life. I love Why? this one. <laughs> well, during her childhood, Sonic freed Ray the Flying Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo from a mining camp, but failed to rescue Fiona. As a result, the vixen... ...based Sonic just being like, WOMAN! <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Leave her. Leave her. Oh... Oh, sorry, I thought she worked here. <laughs> I mean, she looked very at home. She looks like she mines in captivity. ...and held a grudge against Sonic. Dingleberry, she this is a different one. She became a freedom fighter, this is but the director's cut. ...back when she started dating Sonic's evil self, Scourge. 
Heck, she even became the queen of Moebius, Moebius' evil self. Moebius. While she looked pretty as a hero, she still looks alluring as a villain, even with that 80s-style punk outfit. I <laughs> yep, to this. You can tell he's choosing his words, man. <laughs> you, yeah. you can tell he's, he's trying really hard not to say anything damning here. <laughs> he, he definitely wrote a script. He wrote a script for this. His his mom must have just went like, Dylan. I've I've seen those response videos. It is Dylan. It's two thousand and seven, and people still make response videos, <laughs> and they're all terrible when it comes to the video you put out, son. A yellow bow and three big smooth arcs of hair sticking out in front of oh, her the face for the hair. Win. Number S E V E N. Bunny Rabot from the nineteen ninety three TV show Sonic Set A M and the Archie Comics series. She was just an ordinary resident of Mobius when she was captured and nearly roboticized by Dr. Robotnik. That was dirty it's realist. It's funny to see a character Scourge. whose name is a pun on something. <laughs> Rabbit slash robot. Another... Damn, he, he really deciphered the... I... I'm sorry, this did not warrant part of the video that he put together Rabbit and Robot being her last name. Because she's... <laughs> she's roboticized. It's like that one, uh, that one bar from Recovery. Love is evil. Spill it backwards. <laughs> oh, Marshall! <laughs> Damn it, Marshall! Every time, every time, this man's so corny. Um, yeah, like I, I could just picture him like waking up, like it's fucking JFK or something. He's like, wait a minute, rabbit, robots, <laughs> and he's like looking at the cork board and moving photos over. Of course. <laughs> Rabot! For his miles per hour, which is a pun on miles per hour. Being half animal, half Damn, robot, he's really gives spelling this it out. a big battle advantage because the robotic limbs count as extra strength. And nobody can overlook the interesting pink outfit she wears and her. Is that what and you're looking at? Pink outfit. Is that what yeah, you're looking at, dog? I'm sorry, man. Is, is that what you're looking at? Uh, he could have. You could have just not added the little, uh, uh the, the, the little filter, yeah, the, the little focus. That, the fact that he focused. We can all see it. it's pink from the. We can all see it's pink. We from all the know. Tail. We all know, Dylan. We all know. We got eyes. God damn. A wonderful southern accent. Larry, I feel like I've been dragged to a knot hole, so to speak. Her appearance in the Archie comics series always wins, in my opinion. Not only was she given blonde yeah, hair in her later designs, Ken but she a, also got a brown jacket Ken and Ken cowboy hat some years sport. later. They remind me of Indiana Jones. However, I'll always like the pink outfit better. She just looks prettier that way. Numero six. It's Waves the Swallow from Sonic Rider. Yay! As part of the Babylon Rose, Must be the money. her job is to be the mechanic. <laughs> Good thing, too, because in this case, her IQ surpasses both Tails and Eggman. Even though she's a very minor character only appearing in two games, you can't overlook her killer looks. To me, she doesn't look that much like a bird. I mean, Jet has many angled feathers sticking out of his head, and Storm has gray feathers. Wave simply looks charming with purple... Bro, she got a beak. <laughs> That's how do you look? How do you not look like a bird when you've got a fucking beak? Oh, wait, bro, I love. I've only ever seen one cutscene with her. It's the one where like Sonic, Amy, Knuckles, and Tails chilling. Then she just she just pulls up, roast Tails board game. Does not elaborate. Leaves. And that's it. <laughs> she just pulls like, up and goes like, Bro, you riding like a bitch. That shit put me to sleep. Flies off. Man. Yeah, I... Anytime... For some reason, like, just look at the wave. Like, you know... She got... She's got a lot going on. And I know Guptill has his reasons for liking her so much. Skin and two awfully long feathers extending down to her calves. Number one, oh. two, three, four, Oh, he cut five. that short. He cut that yeah. short. Uh, uh, uh. 
Those were some Jin Kazama pants Archie right there, exclusive. I realized. They were. How could anyone Those were some get ready for the ship. next battle From orphan type pants. To freedom fighter, yeah. to pop star okay. singer, Mina, despite okay. her shyness, when God deserves to be loved. <laughs> like Amy Rose, she used to have a crush on Sonic, but during <laughs> her singing... Holy fuck. Uh, Tabar Jr. said that beak making him weak. <laughs> you get the you get the beak job. <laughs> You're getting the bird dussy. You're fucking putting eggs in that nest. <laughs> in career, she began dating another mongoose named Ash. Like Sonic, she has super speed, but she can also heal fast from severe wounds, as stated in issue 123, after she jumped in front of a bullet to save Sally. Oh yeah, Man, mongoose is heal fast. if female singers Who grew knew? their hair long and sprayed it purple, I'd be attending concerts more often. Watch out, Mina, because you've got competition. <laughs> I, I, fuck music. I'm not trying to see any music unless the bitch has some long purple hair. Music corny. Uh, music some bullshit, man. <laughs> Fuck music, bro. Purple hair. <laughs> As the, the only concert he's ever gone to is, is Lil Blaze, Uzi Vert concert. <laughs> Early Uzi. Yeah, he's just like, now this is something I can really enjoy. Lil Uzi Vert has three conical spikes on his head. <laughs> Stay with my P's and my Q's. Yeah, stay with my Q's and my P's. His height changes depending on the money he has. <laughs> also, look at that outfit. It shows, like, the weird fucking short shirt that M and MGK wear. <laughs> Even though he broke up with his girlfriend, Brittany, another black person he dated briefly. How is she better? Her supernatural power is pyrokinesis. Wouldn't you love to have that power? Yeah. You don't need flint and tinder to start a fire. <laughs> All you need to do is think about fire, thrust your arm forward, and whoosh! The wood is burning. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen another hairstyle quite like Blaze's 45... I like... Oh man, he brought back the 45 degree ponytail argument. I, <laughs> I pray that he compares it to the native hairdress again. Like... That's such an out-of-pocket thing he said in the old video, where he's just like, it looks like a Native American headdress. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, where, where'd that come from, dog? Also, uh, uh, his, his mind obviously wanders to random things. I like to think that, like, Dylan has never realized that people have lighters. And he just starts every single fire with a flint and tinder. <laughs> he's like, he's like, up tills in college. He's like in college, and like uh, his, his homie sitting next to him is like, "Hey, yo, can you pass me a lighter? I'm about to poke up." He pulls like, up some flint. He's like, just stay stoking him now. <laughs> now I don't endorse your smoking of Mary Jane, but I'm always willing to help out a friend. Number five degree ponytail on another cartoon character it's very interesting because you normally don't see hair yo that ain't that ain't officially either dog no that's not official <laughs> this man this man keeps on showing his power level when he throws up like fan art and it's like the most like genuinely like lewd or lewd adjacent thing yeah it's he definitely got them deviant art stocks undoubtedly you know, I know that this artist, without a shadow of a doubt, draws porn of Blaze just by the way that she's looking. Like, look <laughs> at her eyes. <laughs> Very sensual. <laughs> this cat's gonna set you on fire in one way or another. Up in the air like that. It's also interesting to note that her closest friend is Silver the Hedgehog. That's the combination of mind moving and fire yeah. superpowers <laughs> makes these two Sorry a for your loss. team. Yeah, hang Number out with that three, dork. Julie Sue, the Echidna, yet another Archie yes! Comics exclusive. You can tell I like the Archie females a lot. She's smart, Emails. knows exactly what to do as a freedom fighter, Emails. and even trained Amy once. She's also the girl of Knuckles' dreams. <laughs> Lucky him. She also has her own now, comic, this is a girl apparently. You don't want to <laughs> Lucky him. Uh, that's actually about Lara Sue, a different oh, yeah. Echidna woman. A yeah, totally it, different one. Yeah, I love how fucking Ken Penders draws them as such like hideous golems too. Like, oh, I know. Like they they're just so scary looking, man. They've like got weird humanoid features as well. Like, 
Why not? Why not just draw him in the Sonic style? I don't understand. Yeah, he why? just and he gives it gives them like weird bony knees and elbows. Like, like, like it looks like a parody. It looks like how someone would like draw a parody shot for like a cartoon or something. You know, the, like the grotesque SpongeBob close-ups or something. Yeah, it's like we we want a specifically off-model bizarre shot of knuckles. Get Ken Penders. Yes, with. According to Mobius. Oh, Bobu's right. They've got human ass teeth, too. They got a yeah. shit ton of human ass teeth. Cyclopedia. That's right. Her ability That's include right. I forgot cybernetically about that. enhanced strength and endurance. Powerful martial artist. Yeah. Expert hover cycle rider. Nice. And weaponry expert. Not but bad. what's more, Not the bad. three coolest parts of her attire are cybernetics dreads and enhancements, Hell yeah. double barrel multi purpose proton gun, and a taser. <laughs> <laughs> In case Knuckles gets too grabby. <laughs> hey, bro, that sounds like the best isekai ever. That time I got reincarnated in a fantasy world with a fucking taser. <laughs> he just starts tasing, like, elves and giants and shit. Yeah, he just goes around tasing goblins. That would be so sick to just have, like, a stun gun in a fantasy world and people would think you're, like, a wizard. But you just keep yeah. on, like, shooting people in the dick with your taser. Yeah. You think that's how it happened? You think that's how the myth of wizards came to be? Some dude time-traveled with a fucking taser, and yeah. then it was like, he can control the lightning! Yeah, a guy with a taser and, and some, like, fireworks and a lighter yeah. was just like, just some behold! <laughs> just, some, just some fucking Texas cop with a long white beard, like, got isekai back in time with his taser and just went to town. It's like, oh yeah, I'm on retainer with the king. No, I, I don't I don't know real magic. No, I just have a gun. <laughs> Put those together with her abilities, and you've got an echidna who's really ready for battle. Cyber dress. While Julie Sue's appearance is awesome, her appearance in the subseries Mobius X years later takes the cake. Ooh. I don't know about you, Honestly, but I think that the combination of that, a long that ponytail sounds like the with name of... skating quick. That's not like the name of someone who would be on the double XL freshman list you've never heard of. <laughs> Cyber Dreads. Like, hey, what's up? It's Cyber Dreads. And, just... and I'm telling you why I should be on this year's double XL cover. <laughs> it just comes on the fucking, like, <laughs> they got him on the horrible freestyle where they do it in, like, complete silence and have fucking ambience from Armored Core in the background where it's like, pull up on the nigga I used to be on the meal plan. I used to stack the free lunch, now I got a grandma. <laughs> he makes one of them weird ass noises like O'Melly's uh, near. He's like, uh, before uh, every... uh. I got too much money on my bitch, too much money, got a wrist rolling on it. <laughs> yeah, Simon uh. Gets, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's so much... <laughs> fucking that money and fucking your bitch. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Equals epic win in you the know that she's gonna sell my kids. Heading into oh, the home uh... stretch with number two, we have Princess Sally Acorn. <laughs> Unlike Princess Peach of the Mario franchise, Sally is always willing to set foot in the field along with. You think Princess Peach just was like, nah, I ain't doing that. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's like, we could really use your peach, er, your help, Peach, and she's just like, what? <laughs> fuck no, man. <laughs> How would escort this man out of my castle? <laughs> Get this broke bitch out my crib. I have saved you ten times from that obese dragon man. <laughs> Get out of my house, sir. I do not know you. <laughs> the blue blur. Peach just seems to get kidnapped by Bowser all the time. In the Sonic Set AM TV show, a freedom fighter named Antoine constantly tries to woo Sally but doesn't succeed, usually due to his cowardly behavior. Damn. Sally always carries well, a small never, computer never device getting... called Nicole during no. missions to hack a machine or give vital information to herself no and her team. He got Unlike no almost rib. every other female in the franchise, Sally used to have an appearance that consisted of her only wearing boots. God damn! Yep, only fur everywhere else. <laughs> It wasn't even weird until he said that shit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he, he had to. He had That's to make right. Sure we knew. Completely new. Pretty hot, huh? <laughs> Not a human. 
Oh, if only more real women were as confident and skillful as Sally Alicia Acorn. Whoa, shit, dog. Did you do you hear that complete <laughs> sub towards all of womankind there? <laughs> if only real women were like this, this fictional man... chipmunk. <laughs> this man need to speak on fresh and fit. He needs to look, he needs to let the world know what. <laughs> So, women aren't like Sally Acorn. I don't rate them, as you would say. <laughs> Just get tapped no, in, a like <laughs> a little off topic. But have you ever seen the one video by Abba and Preach where they discover King Cobra? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was fucking great. Man. It's like they have to. I love fucking fucking Preach. It's like you know he's right you know you should aim for a girl that's alive that's not your sister <laughs> i Man. love that video so much i really do love when those guys veer into like degeneracy and look at someone like cobes like i'm i'm shocked <laughs> and also happy that they've never found chris because i couldn't imagine how abbas would uh react to fucking uh <laughs> chris and oh, all the you... all the christery Preach would not be having it. Preach would be like folding his arms, like shaking his head, looking disappointed at the universe. Yeah, Abba, fucking, Abba would be doing Abba that thing where he like bounces in the spot. Where he's got he'd he'd be doing impressions. Yeah. He'd be like <laughs> He'd sound surprisingly like liquid for no reason. <laughs> God damn. Fucking, I'm just picturing like Guptill going full of Andrew Tate and being on a yacht wearing like a way too tight suit and going like, well, I'm a Sigma male now. I realized that Sally Acorn's the only girl for me. The rest of you bitches can't handle me. He holds up one of those, he holds up one of those fucking like transparent purple dream casts. He's like, what color is your dream cast? Oh yeah, you're broke. Number 10. Well, are you ready for the last one? I, I sure am. Oh, Who yeah. could top a pyrokinetic cat, a mechanical genius, hmm. and even a confident princess? Oh, probably a bat with breasts, is my guess. And 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 mostly human skin. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> People, all, I've had friends ask me before, it's like, Doom, you look into all these weirdos, all these zesty weirdos into this yeah. shit. Why do you think Rouge so popular? I was like... Because she's the closest looking to an actual fucking person. <laughs> yeah. Sonic Team just realized, like, damn, we gotta get some titties in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Dead or Alive crew dropping on Dreamcast soon. We yeah, gotta... yeah, they just went, like, we gotta, we gotta pick up the goddamn pace. <laughs> we gotta put some titties in this goddamn game, doc. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get outdone by DOA 2 on our own platform like shit. Hey, yo, Jin Sanoe, can you write a song about a bad bitch? <laughs> well, get ready, folks. This is the number one prettiest female Sonic character. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> no, uh -huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Nothing changed. <laughs> don't ever change, Guptill. Don't ever change. Rouge the Bat. How could she possibly not be number one? This character Look at the size of those knuckles and is a femme fatale, flirting with and teasing other those characters mallet. to get what she wants. As a treasure thief, she's mostly interested in one object set. Jewels, especially the, the chaos and the, the, only, the only thing I'm interested in are those fat bat tats. Give them a slap. <laughs> I just wish he was more out of pocket. I wish she, oh, I know, I wish right? she would just be like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> just go full on zest. Just fucking all in. Mommy. Mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Even though she spends most of her time with Sonic's doppelganger Shadow, she has a secret crush on Knuckles the Echidna. Oh. Unfortunately, Knuckles usually doesn't care about her. <laughs> I'm Sigma <laughs> grind. <laughs> I'm a Sigma male, Rouge. I don't need pussy. It's straight. I'd rather live in solitary confinement than with you. Damn, oh, base nuts. That bat. It serves her right for fluttering around where she doesn't belong. Base what? nuts, man. Rouge's appearance oh has God. changed throughout the years. <laughs> this guy's just like, island, big emerald. That's all I need. 
That's my life. <laughs> mm. he, you know, he read all of Miyamoto's books, Masashi Miyamoto's books on solitude, and he, and he just, like, that's his Bible. That's his scripture. Yeah. It's like, man, I wish Yukio Mishima didn't kill himself. That guy had some pretty good ideas. Wait, what do you mean he was gay? But her wardrobe is tiny compared to Amy's. If you asked what my favorite costume is, it would be her Sonic Heroes outfit. Perfect for combat, yet nearly perfect for a night out. I mean, it's totally... Is that on a yacht? Please tell me that's on a yacht or something. I couldn't, I couldn't see perfect it. Perfect for combat, yet nearly perfect for a night out. <laughs> what the what the fuck that looks like a like a uh airline strip or something yeah it looks like an air is it... <laughs> you just <laughs> like the fucking like doll faces ending in twisted metal 2k12 <laughs> just a plane comes in runs her the fuck over there's only a fucking stiletto left is, is she on, are they on like a, a uss carrier or something like what the fuck is this it's like <laughs> Well, Rouge, how are you liking our date? Why do you bring me to this military base? <laughs> well, because I'm on the clock and I figured you could still join because you can fly. <laughs> Look, are you going to suck my dick? Right out. I mean, it's totally shapely and everything's pink and violet, including her eyelids. Huh? You know, her I eyelids? always wondered why Sonic Team called this character Rouge. It's French for red, and in all of her appearances, nothing's colored red. It's all pink. <laughs> fucking zoom in. It's just like yeah. I I think it's I think it's less to do with like some hidden meaning up till, and more due to the fact that like the the guy I believe who's like the creative director of most Sonic Team games don't even brush his teeth. I don't think he really thinks about things often. Yeah, Naoto Oshima was just like, why don't we call her Titty the Bat? And they were like, nah, we should give her a name that's slightly subtle, something French and mysterious. <laughs> it's absolutely that. They just went like, we're Japanese people. We don't know anything about anyone because our culture is extremely xenophobic. Uh, what's a fucking foreign word that sounds cool? Rouge? Ait. That's how that's exactly what, what happened. That's what happened in that boardroom. Yeah, sure. and then and then Naoto Oshima drank a bunch of soda, most likely, and went like, Yeah, I'm throwing out my toothbrush. Well, it turns <laughs> out that Rouge is also the name for the makeup you put on your cheeks. How did you not know that? <laughs> and she's she's meant to be like a femme fatale and like a sex symbol. It's like that's I hate this guy. <laughs> or lips to no, make him rosy. So that may be why it's her name, because she obviously is wearing lipstick. And in my opinion, it's an awesome name for a fictional character that flies across the landscape, flirts with a bunch of people, and has brute strength. Damn. My hat goes off to you, Sonic Team USA. You ought to be proud. Good oh, job, that was a, that was a Sonic it. Team USA? <laughs> no, I... No, no, they weren't. They she weren't? Was, no, she was what the fuck designing... name drop in the US. I don't know why. <laughs> they had nothing to do with Sonic Adventure 2. The only <laughs> the only English speaking person who worked on that game other than the voice actors was the guy from Crush 40. Like uh, and that hunted P guy. Oh, and hunted P. Yeah. Nah, he doesn't speak English. He speaks Sabonics. It's different. <laughs> oh shit, we got we got Someone's sending me dosh, dollars, dollar s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank God I can pay my rent. Oh, not with that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Hot Tower Chan. Hello, Hot Tower Chan. Uh, $3 says, hello there, Brains and Club Doom. It's Thursday, and I have no other jokes to enter here. Anyways, here's $3 that was going to go to the Dylan Thomas emergency stream. <laughs> but I'd rather give it to a good creator. P.S. When Skyrim stream, oh shit, that would actually be pretty fun. Maybe, maybe I'll do something like that, and we'll, I don't know, we'll create like Drake in Skyrim. <laughs> Drake in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll make Drake, and we'll play as Drake, and I'll I'll do the voice and go like, oh god, oh god, <laughs> yo yo, I want to see how she doing in chemistry class, third period. It's not creepy at all. I just want to say shout out to all you preschoolers in the audience. 
Y'all, y'all looking so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, we're coming home. <laughs> Have it, folks. Those were the most ravishing females in the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. No, I can't. I can't a log like that grape. I made an entire mixtape making fun of him. I don't want to talk to Dylan ever. That you should still leak. I I did leak it. I did leak. You it. did? Yeah, it's unlisted. Oh, okay. It's unlisted on my channel. I just don't want oh, Dylan yeah. to strike it because he seems like the type who would. You know, he did try striking Marshall Nerd the one time. Yeah, that's no, Dylan it. sucks, man. Like that's that's yeah. why I privated everything. People like. <laughs> I remember hearing people go like, oh, is, is Brains okay? He got rid of the Dylan stream. It's like, yeah, I'm absolutely okay. <laughs> I was like, in fact, I was doing better. I was like talking to real rappers and shit. <laughs> and people are like, where's the Dylan tape? It's still there. It's unlisted. Just ask me. If you want it, just ask me. I will send you the link happily. I had someone like when I when I did the the thing with uh, Deadwind Dork, like someone in his post about us collaborating was like, "Where's the Dylan tape? <laughs> it ain't that good. <laughs> it's not that good. It was a joke." No, nah, no, nah, bro. It's it's like whole lot of red. After a year, everyone love it. Why y'all niggas feed him for the Dylan Thomas joke mixtape? <laughs> It's because of the revolutionary. It's because of the Dumbsville feature. He slid. He actually kind of he slid. Is lit. I was I was listening to his newer shit recently, like yesterday. Like I I I was listening to his song NFT. Yeah, I can't lie. That nigga can actually rap. Like mm. I uh, I was talking to him about that and going like, please take music seriously. Like you can actually do this shit. He is like, out of all the people who who rap who are also YouTubers, he's like maybe the first good one. <laughs> <laughs> him and like you <laughs> shout out well, to i came after i came after him so it makes sense the first <laughs> yeah he's like jay-z and you're like kanye that's how it works prideful jester sends in five dollars stay beautiful boys every day of course of course hell yeah prideful so jester. there's there's our boy there's his pfp it's very very fucking funny <laughs> this is this is like the terminator's oh, nephew <laughs> He's too far from the camera. He looks small. He looks so tiny. <laughs> and, and he just looks grumpy. Like, he doesn't look tough. I know he's trying to look cool here. He he looks very small and arguably yeah, weak. Yeah, like, if only he worked out his shoulders, this picture could work. But The, nah. cra the crazy thing is, um, fucking, this dude actually works out. Like, he, he has does. a few, yeah, he has a few videos where he, like, Oh shit! He like held well, what, what a. He held like. Out? Well, like a lot of calisthenics, but like his form's good. Uh, like, yeah, he had a video where like he held a leg raise for like ninety seconds. Like this guy's actually in shape, which is oh, very okay. funny because he's a, a he, big yeah. fucking dork. <laughs> yeah, he he just don't bulk. That's probably it. Yeah, yeah he, he probably does like cardio calisthenics and like. Yeah, he's got like that me. that runner yeah. build. Yeah, he's got that. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I know a lot of people who do cross country and shit, and that that's their build. That yeah. is it. But uh, we got we got a few of his rants. This is a rant about certain game reviewers. Oh, on site, on site. We finna get a, a James Rolfe disc. Why the car? I don't know, man. Like, like there's so there's so much to unpack with this intro. So his premise is is uh, well, I guess it's a play on Rent a Wreck, which is like a joke from like the fifties or sixties, where yeah, like my first time yeah, where you'd go to a place and you'd rent like a beater for, you know, if you were renting a car, and of course it's like sputting out fucking black smoke or whatever it's such a bizarre dated and strange joke to base your entire premise around when your core audience is people who watch like video game reviewers or whatever right like yeah 
I don't it's I don't like, know if you it's if like you when, it's like when Twisted Metal Four added that one character, the Joneses, like keeping up with the Joneses, yeah. and it's just an obnoxious family. It's like, bro, no one playing Twisted Metal finna get that reference. Yeah, that's it's a it's clearly for the people who may have grown up with that stuff adjacently. But like Guptill's like I would argue he's a little older than us, right? Like why is he making these kind of references? You know, and like I only know I was only able to really decipher that because like my dad taught me a bunch of weird older shit. So I was like, okay, well yeah, rent a wreck. Like you know, that would be a, a sight gag in a, a 50s or 60s television show. And then you'd leave with a dog shit car, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, that's, that's such a bizarre fucking joke for people who are into video games. That's all. That's all. I don't want to, I don't want to continue to bemoan this point, but it's, it's just strange. Sorry, everyone in chat. My autism flared up. <laughs> what? Why does he have a vintage fucking <laughs> like beetle there? What the fuck is that car? That's like a car from like the Godfather PS2 game. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? The fucking LA Noir car? Why would? <laughs> Why do you have a car from 1947? Bruh, I, I, that building don't look finished. That building don't look finished. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot wrong with, with what's happening in this intro. We're not even at the rant. <laughs> Is this welcome to the chat? <laughs> oh, you fucked. I'm not, I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. Come on. I need to I need to hear me them guns and roses. You're not are you, you're not getting audio? No, I'm getting audio, but okay. like I guess it's very low in the mix because I ain't hearing it. I ain't hearing no riffs. Well this sounds like oh, yeah, a mini version. Yeah, there we go. Welcome to the show. Prideful, my, my streams never get monetized. Are you kidding me? It's like, <laughs> most of my streams are, are on the basis that I'm a, a slightly intelligent schoolyard bully. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm never getting monetized. That fucking dollar sign will forever be yellow. <laughs> the audio mixing is nuts. <laughs> We all have things that tick us off in life. Yes. For example, bullies, drugs, <laughs> and... Man, these drugs are pissing me off, man. <laughs> Imagine you, you fucking buy an eight ball of Coke and you go like, God, why did I do this? <laughs> I don't even like cocaine. <laughs> I've always been more of a meth guy. Ah, oh, jeez, I really... Well, there goes that $2,000, jeez. And hard to control children. I can ignore all of these things. However, there's one thing that's been bothering me that I can't ignore. I'm talking about these users my age end up showing their complete lack of thoughtfulness when reviewing a video game. Man. It's like someone pursuing a PhD but only reads comic books. There are three <laughs> things that... <laughs> I don't know why that got me so hard. Probably because it's his comic like book collection. A PhD uh, that only reads. Yeah, because it's his comic book. Yeah, th this this smells of projection. This specific yeah. line. My mother said I wouldn't amount to anything. Guess she's right. Comic books. There are three things that I can't. Bullies stand. and drugs. First of all, a few of them don't use a script. I wonder if they have written down any notes at all. Damn. Secondly, many of them don't edit the footage in the videos. It's basically footage that occurs as if you turned on the video game console and started to play from start to finish. My man's killing. My man is killing these reviewers. Mm -hmm. It's like, let me tell you about these pussy-ass reviewers. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you about these bitch-made bitch reviewers. I... Y'all don't want to see a real nigga spit, but a real nigga about to spit. Let me tell you about our mate 21 or whatever his name was. 
<laughs> and the third one is the worst of the worst. I'm sure some folks will object to this complaint. The worst part about these guys is repeated profanity and vulgar actions. Oh my god, B? Oh. <laughs> Thought so. Thought so. But let me explain. When you don't script yourself, you sound boring with a lot of uhs, ums, and many pauses. Like, one of the things I gotta, I gotta say about this, too, is, like, the fact that he has, like, a fluorescent light humming throughout the video, and he's critiquing other people's editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I, I ain't hear that either. Damn. Oh, you can't... I can't, you, I, yeah, I'm not... Can you being, boost... I mean, are you... Do you have a boosted on your end? Let me see. Oh, I can boost it on my end. Let yeah. me see if I can. Can I get that room noise? Yeah, that room noise is goddamn palpable. Yeah. Shit. We were talking about my headphones. Maybe my headphones are pretty goddamn good because I can hear it's like lamp buzzing. Yeah, you can hear everything. <laughs> it's not like. To it's be not more like specific, Tyrac. how would Tyrac you like it if a radio <laughs> or TV announcer started telling a story and had no idea how he or she would tell it? With all the stammering and time wasting, wouldn't it make you want to change the channel? Yes. We yes. usually only get to see the first few levels of the game you're reviewing. That doesn't always show us the troubled points you're describing. Sometimes people watching would want to see the later levels. I certainly would. I don't want to see someone continuously failing to pass a stage or level and having to start over. The third problem, profanity and disgraceful actions, is the number one reason why most game reviewers are hard to enjoy. This problem raises a big question. Yeah, I mean, as someone who, who says the N-word repeatedly, and swears constantly, and yeah, stammers brain. and says um, routinely, yeah, um, this really speaks to me. I think I have to look in the mirror and take some accountability. I, I couldn't be making all-ages content like those weird animation farm Sonic videos I looked at previously. Instead of making filth, instead of, making, instead of perpetuating vulgarity, do you absolutely think it is necessary to spew out dirty language and have it bounce off a viewer's eardrums? I mean, think about it for a minute or two. I love this guy. Do you want to know why dirty language is a huge deal? Why? It's mostly because of two important points. Okay. The first point is the inappropriate words being launched out of no. your oral cavity like bullets just make you sound no. quite unintelligent and not even funny in the slightest. Too many reviewers' favorite words are the F words, the A words, and the S word. Those words have Man, basically replaced <laughs> every possible adjective, noun, and interjection imaginable. I feel Rain. as if people are devoted Rain. to these words as if- I have- I have- I get the- I get the subtle impression that he ain't get the joke with AVGN. I don't no. think he gets the joke. No, he did- he, like, neglected- the word angry in the title. <laughs> like, it did not click that his entire premise is being furious at all times. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's why I love watching this dude and Enter. They, they both dudes who strike me as people who saw AVGN and did not get it. They just didn't yeah. get it. <laughs> Can, can, uh, fucking Guptil is the kind of guy who would watch Tom and Jerry and go, And so the mouse hurts the cat? Are you serious? <laughs> Violence on television? That's not funny! As if they were awesome presidents or prime ministers. Guptil really is Honestly, innocent guys, depressing. Can't you think of something better to say or a better way to say it? Absolutely, Swear words Carver. are just a crutch! Uh, penis help. Penis out. Besides, you should really the words of take Kamatoa this into consideration. Uh, it's out. also the second point I want to make. There are children who use the internet. That's right. I said. <laughs> Can you hear his floorboards creak? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, that shit's great. <laughs> and I'm hearing the humming now. I fucking love that. Like he, he's just refused to have production values. But he's like going on this rant, going, "These reviewers make dog shit videos." Children. 
What if a kid stumbled upon your review and started reciting out loud, This game is a piece of shit. I can't f***ing stand this f***ing crap anymore. I'm done. Have a nice f***ing day. God They'll damn. be sent to their room with soap in their kissers, along with a <laughs> glass of water and a bucket. Don't you realize that when a child hears other people cuss, he or she will think that it's cool? Don't you? Neon, this video is like, like probably 10 to 12 years old. It's pretty goddamn old. And, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> maybe, maybe older, maybe older than that, actually. Uh, definitely, like, the inception of YouTube tier. Yeah. Like, the but, early uh, days, like, response video days. But there's that, like, that weird, like, 50s sensibility stuff again, saying, like, you're gonna have a soap, in your, a bar of soap in your kisser. Like, who the fuck does that <laughs> to their kid now? I I guess his parents. I guess his parents still did. I, I guess he lives in the fucking Leave It to Beaver house or something. And yeah. his, his mom's like, now you go to bed, mister. I heard some curse words and you're not getting dessert. You want to set a better example than that? Hey, kids, guess what? It's all right for you to mimic me because I have amazing talent. Okay. All right. Doug. This guy's wearing that Inuyasha hat, okay? You know, a show oh, with yeah. like yeah, yeah, that's right. Like a show with a, like a bunch of violence and nudity and swearing in it. Huh? Yeah, that's interesting. That's that's very interesting. That's very you, interesting. Can you explain that, Dylan? Is there a is there a <laughs> something you're not yeah. telling us? A, sh a show that is there like, has you're a not telling your parents. A show that has, like, a character who, like, routinely gropes women, and that's his, like, character trait. Like, <laughs> you're telling me that Doug Walker is is bad for kids? And here you are wearing the two... You're, you're basically wearing the two uh, most hateful symbols next to Adolph's. You're wearing the Inuyasha title screen logo, and you're wearing a Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt. You're, you're basically Hitler. So forget about Fred and Smosh. Watch my videos. You'll be cooler than they are. Based. <laughs> you know what? Forget you know about what? Fred that, and Smosh. Honestly, the though the the execution, you know, probably not. Honestly, true, true, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Jeremy, I don't think Obama was even in office yet <laughs> when this video was made. Also, I think it's worth pointing out, I have always been against kids being unsupervised on the internet. Damn straight. Because <laughs> cause fuck it, especially with TikTok nowadays. Yeah, TikTok, that's, that's how Roblox. kids get into skibbity toilet. Fucking skibbity toilet. I like skibbity toilet, but it's so that's stupid. That's fine, but like, you know how much damage that can do to like a five-year-old's brain? Yeah, they don't, they don't fucking... They don't fucking know, man. <laughs> they think that's just how the world works they they think that a fucking npc from half-life 2 is gonna pop out of their shitter <sighs> oh man <laughs> i sure as do i depressed and it's time Whew. to put it simply using profanity and vulgarity during a review of a video game is unnecessary it's also just plain boring this suggestion is directed towards three reviewers that people seem to pay the most attention to. Chris Bors, the irate gamer, James Rolfe. Uh, the first and only time the irate gamer got billing over James Rolfe. <laughs> this might be the first time he ever got mentioned before the AVGN. <laughs> that, that says fucking volumes about Guptill. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> that shit killed me, man. Oh my god! It's like public enemy number one, the guy who ripped off the other guy, <laughs> the angry video game nerd, and Douglas Darian Walker. That yo, I didn't know his middle name was Darian. Yeah, me neither. Shit, Guptill really did his research. He's got these guys cuffed. Uh, got five dollars from Confused Cabal. Saying this guy looks like Amy Jansen, Brent cousin or brother. Uh, well, yeah, I mean the bulk cut's not doing them any favors, that's for sure. No. That guy with the glasses. Thank you very much. <sighs> uh. 
I have an idea. <laughs> okay. Why don't you revise some of your reviews when you get the chance? Okay. Sure, it's a truckload of work, but if you do that, <laughs> you might just end up with more fans. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, all right, let's... I'll take. I'll Let's take it from the guy right who, there. yeah, I'll take it from the guy with like 7k subs uh, now, 20 years since this video. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll quick check, what's what's James Rolfe's numbers? Cinemassacre. Let's see, what, what are his numbers? Let's see here. 3.77M. Uh, and then this guy be at 768 yeah, Channel awesome, yeah. 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 Who, who yeah. Do you think what, we should what are Doug's to? numbers? What are Doug's numbers? What's Doug's to, numbers? Yeah. Uh let me see. Nostalgia critic. We don't have to look up the irate gamer. <laughs> 1.35 million. All right, yeah, so they're kind of I'm beating still Dylan's looking ass. Up the irate gamer. Oh, irate man. gamer. Please have less Kid than Dylan. 9, 11. Let's see. Um 171k. That's way more than he should have. <laughs> He's terrible. There's people, there's people who genuinely like him. I, I know because I know one. <laughs> oh, man. That's like that's like getting the dollar store toy and going like, actually, the dollar store Beyblade's better than the regular Beyblade. Yeah. I, I got a lot of friends who be into like youtubers and streamers that like everyone else would laugh at i got a i got a friend who unironically owns a covenant shirt i got jesus I got christ a, yeah, i got a friend who likes irate gamer where are you finding these hobgoblins <laughs> i met him in high school they, they mostly get people from like my high school days before i moved god man you gotta <laughs> diversify your your group. I, I, I right have now, you might either be throwing a hissy fit <laughs> but, or but wondering you know, they still around. what would be a good yeah. review to watch. Well, luckily, I know four places on the net where civilized behavior is found. Okay. Nightwing Zero One's YouTube channel page, Strange Gamers channel page, GameSpot.com. <laughs> oh, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> That's well, that aged like motherfucking milk. God damn. <laughs> that aged like a corpse. <laughs> and GameTrailers.com. Oh. That's a total of only four places on the net. And on one hand... Didn't Game Trailers own Screw Attack? I think so. Didn't Screw Attack commission the angry video game nerd? I think so. Yeah. All right, Dylan. And where civilized reviews can be found. Think about it. Think Who about it. Who wants to hear a person my age or older shout loudly and curse like a sailor over a video game? Millions your of people. Your parents tell you to stop shouting over a game when you're young, and at your age, that info should be hardwired to your cerebrum. Your cerebrum. Even though you're acting, the cursing is abrasive and tiresome. Let me assure you, I like the work of James Rolfe, Chris Bors, and Douglas Walker. However, there are... <laughs> I like that. He calls him Douglas every time. That's so good. <laughs> I lo Shaved Douglas a trip, bro. Yeah. Shaved Douglas. He throws you gotta, off. Chris yeah, hold on. Hold on to that. That's, oh my God. that's cursed. That is cursed. That's <laughs> he, looks Holy like he looks like he's being played by Tyler, the creator, doing whiteface. <laughs> like, I would just review you, nigga. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like Tyler, is that you from the tamale video? <laughs> Where Jasper at? So, um, we just have a threesome and um... and Douglas Walker. However, there are a few things about those reviewers that make them less enjoyable. Take Mr. Rolf's work, for instance. He puts his reviews up on three different websites. GameTrailers.com, ScrewAttack.com, and Cinemassacre.com. All reviews I've seen are flooded with swears and common crude phrases. He's playing His a movie summaries on Cinemassacre.com are similar, except that they are not as loaded with bad language as his AVGN video. 
Because he's not playing a character in this. Yeah, it, it, it's almost like the movie reviews serve a different purpose than the than the comedy skit. Yeah, he's <laughs> presenting them as James Roll, whereas the video game reviews, he's a comedic character. Yo's. Even if Rolf is part of an R-rated movie site, there is no need to include things like they'll kick your ass till shit comes out your ears. I can understand crude jokes and many swears in an R-rated movie or mature rated game since it's authentic for where the action takes place. However, in a game review... You remember in MGS4 when Snake went, take a diarrhea dump his ear because of this game. No, oh but God. I do remember when uh when fucking Liquid Ocelot finger banged an entire fucking Call of Duty lobby. That was sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my I am I am an MGS fan and that was sick. MGS4 is kind of a piece of shit in retrospect, but it had some cool stuff in it. It did. I that that was the first one I played. That's the only one I've ever played all the way through. You played the game that was like a love letter to all the other games first and only? Well, yeah, because it was like two bucks at GameStop. I was like, huh, I never tried an MGS uh, before. Let me let me give it a shot. God damn <laughs> and it. I liked it. And that and that scene in particular, like, it warmed my heart. That was like some Baki shit. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like when Yujiro like walks up to a military base. And just him walking towards them causes all the soldiers to just start, like, <laughs> having a mental breakdown and, like, yeah. fighting each other for no reason. You remember when you, like, punched the earthquake quiet in, uh, in Baki? Yes. Like, you, like, you punched the ground and all the seismic activity stopped. <laughs> oh, man. Punish the Preston. Venom depressed. Review, not to mention a movie or TV show review, the included vulgarity and profanity is out of line in place. If these guys used their intellect as well as their talent, the audience scale would broaden out beyond 12 to 15 year olds. Thanks a ton to everyone who has watched this, and I hope you enjoy- You're welcome. Why is he so aggressive about this? You know, thanking me. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. this. See you guys again sometime. Peace. Right. See you, Dylan. <laughs> Directed by Dylan Gupto. <laughs> Fucking Welcome to the Jungle continues to play. So we got we got a few more uh, Rantarex. <laughs> give me give me one moment and uh, I'll be right back uh, if you don't mind entertaining the chat for a second. Yeah, I I got something I can tell. So okay. So I remember the first time uh, I watched my fucking top 10 hottest Sonic female characters with my boys. And I remember someone <laughs> someone asked, what, what do you think his boss at his job has to say about this shit? And, 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 we, and, we, and we thought it up. We imagined it. We just imagined, like, Guptil. It's like, uh, Guptil, can you uh, come up on to the... Uh, manager's office please just playing on the intercom he walks in and the manager's just like dylan i saw the video i saw the video dylan um i i want you to pack your shit uh and leave you're you're laid off it's like but sir i really i really need this job please dylan do not make this harder than it needs to be we have an image to uphold at this company and you obviously do not fit the mold. I need you to leave the premises immediately. <sighs> okay, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, bye. And then Dylan, Dylan leaves, right? Dylan leaves. The, the manager <laughs> gets up. He, he opens like a little wardrobe. He opens a little wardrobe, right? <laughs> and in that wardrobe is just this fucking Amy shrine. <laughs> He's like, number fucking dead my ass. <laughs> Holy shit! What did I come back to? <laughs> oh, I just heard. Oh, I just heard the Amy Shrine. Yeah, we we was imagining, you know, what what it'd be like if Dylan's boss at his job uh, <laughs> called the video and fired him, and, and then after firing him, he, he is revealed he's got the fucking Amy Shrine. He's like fucking number ten, fucking dumbass. <laughs> Does he know? Doing your mom. We gotta, we gotta watch this classic because I know you're running out of a bit of time. So we definitely, uh, 
Gonna watch a couple of his classics. Oh, I, I see a Wolfenstein video. That's interesting. Oh, that's that one's long, man. I wish we had, I, he, Damn, he's he's got a lot of good retro shits in here. He does. He does. Exu oh man, he's got Plucky's Liquid Trouble. We gotta watch that one quickly. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So uh Guptill had like aspirations of being a voice actor. Uh, and uh okay. he would routinely get his mom to co-star and stuff. With no. Him. Yeah. And she would use the fake name DB Cooper. Which oh. is fucking hilarious in retrospect. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, the the audio balancing. Like, like Jesus Christ. Yeah. We're gonna find a water gun for today's water fight. <laughs> Shit, I can't lie, his plucky duck's actually kinda good. Yeah, it ain't bad. Like, I know his audio balancing is dog shit, but, like, it's, I, I hate to give him kudos, but shit, he's actually kind of good. I can give him kudos, as far as I know, he's in his book, it's weird. Guptill's <laughs> working for Funimation Ooh, now. sorry, Plucky. My aim is a little off today. Hampton, don't tell me you entered the water fight contest. Water fight contest? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with no, me. No, you're not you doing BB Cooper. No, really, it's the truth. I was just given a job to clean the streets. But I would love to enter the contest. It'll expand my cleaning horizons. Preposterous. Can you help me find a water gun instead? I'm busy at... <laughs> Why is this animated like a Pilot Red Sun video? <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking animated, like, when the Grinch found out uh, about his mortality or whatever. Moment. Can it wait till later? <laughs> but I need one now! The contest will be starting shortly! I can't risk getting fired! Don't be a forehead, Hampton! Don't be Fine. a sorehead, forehead! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hampton! I owe you big time for this! You're welcome, now I have to get back to work. Bye-bye! <laughs> Is he desperate to keep the streets clean or what? Acme Acre, splash a palooza here. Wow, Hampton sure does hate black people. Here I come. I'm keeping the streets clean, not cleaning uh, up the streets, I'm finally Plucky. Here, Adam. <laughs> Dang, and you'd think he'd be for the streets. He was like sprinkling with a fire hydrant and everything. Damn. Why is life so unfair to me? <laughs> See, if if he's just said fuck, that would have been way funnier. Yeah. So I, know, I think right? I think I think Uptil is totally off base with the profanity thing. All right, doing your mom. <laughs> doing your mom. Let's go. That's just insulting. Apparently, Mr. Johnson is part of a hip hop group called Fatty Spins. Recently, he made a song called Get This. Doing your mom. Doing your, your mom. mom? That's just insulting. insulting. I dared myself to I watch this the music guy. video. Of I know I said I know I said I hated him in a fit of rage, but I love this man. I hope he's doing well. That song, and this is what happened. <laughs> you know, strike me as a milk drinker. After that, I had to calm my. <laughs> How ironic! In this of all times, I've got a pint of milk. He got caught lacking. He he went, Mom, I'm thirsty. Okay, honey, just wait a moment. Myself down gradually. I'll tell you, it wasn't a good experience. But hold on, it gets even better. He okay. made a t-shirt of the same title. What? I, I can't even begin to imagine why that article of clothing exists. 
Who's gonna wanna wear that junk? You wear it, you get nothing but mad responses you'll regret. What, what does a milkmaker look like, Jeremy? I'll tell you this. <laughs> this, this, dude, this is a milk drinker. Like someone who exclusively does calisthenics in cross country. Yeah, legitimately, like, I don't know. What are your thoughts on milk drinking? Milk is a beverage. I think it tastes good. You know, I partake every now and then. But you don't you don't partake with regularity or like I, I I think I think if it's the only refreshment other than like water and shit that you drink, I think uh there's uh you might be a bit sheltered or yeah. uh, a bit closed minded to the wondrous worlds of all the different drinks that exist. Yeah, plus you're probably burping nasty because you drink milk all the time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it's like I stopped drinking milk as a kid because I learned of other beverages. And I mostly just use milk for, like... Like beer. Yeah, like beer. Like beer. Sadly, sadly, I drink too much of that. I have a problem. But <laughs> but that's not a problem. <laughs> it's only a problem when I run out. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, I always thought milk was kind of more of like an ingredient or like, you know, you'd put it in cereal or something. I, I never saw it as a beverage, but that's my two cents. Take that shirt off! Were you raised in a barn, in a barn full, of full of idiots? We do not allow that repulsiveness in school. I'm writing a note to your parents and sending you to the office. Get out! And eventually, oh, this you, you will know happen. that teacher got roasted Sir, by all I... the kids after that. You know, Wait, that... you know, you know yeah. later, it's like, yo, remember when fucking um, uh, Mr. Dinkle fucking yelled at <laughs> goddamn Dylan? <laughs> she was fucking great. Mr. Chauncey's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> We do not allow that repulsive in an American high school, yeah. Oh, yeah, in, <laughs> good in, luck. American, good luck. in an American high school, that <laughs> good that fucking luck, <laughs> dog. You, you make less than people who work at Chick fil A to, to teach, so like, nah, man. <laughs> I, I like the culmination, sir. Can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> you know, when they photoshop t shirts on like Kanye and stuff. I yeah. desperately want to see someone do that, but with like the doing your mom shirt. <laughs> I mean, like walking out of the venue someone or something. Do it yeah. to Chris. Someone needs to do it to Chris. Chris was cited with the doing your mom shirt. That's gonna be, <laughs> Ironically, that's gonna be part seventy four. <laughs> he was drinking milk at the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is this is a complete classic. You get to hear Dylan's mom's voice acting. Oh shit, Tommy Tallarico? Oh man. I don't like Sega! that title. I don't, I don't I don't like that title, The Ultimate Race. <laughs> One would call this the master race, huh, Faker? Yes. Whoever wins this race will be the master race. Bro, it's like, uh, some, one of these days, like we said, I'm going to show you Cyrex. And one of my absolute favorite sagas be when uh, be the Xbox saga. When Liquid Chris and MF Goon fucking fried uh, Cyrex's Xbox. He tried to get a new one, but Marty somehow got it instead of Cyrex. So Cyrex had to get another one. So Marty got all the racing games that Cyrex owned, and he kept egging on Cyrex to race him in Forza, and and he called it. It's like we'll make it an event. We'll call it the Race War. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, you're selling me on Cyrex. I know, this shit's great. God damn it! Also, depressed and hard. That sounds like a dope shirt. I wish I had one. <laughs> The Sonic and Shadow kissing shirt? Hell yeah. <laughs> the ultimate race! <laughs> Whoever wins this race, Hedgehog. Will be the master of all races. <laughs> so it's a race war, huh? 
just a race for you on your own first floor. Go get it. You're gonna get it. Gotcha this time, Sonic. Hey, Amy. <laughs> that is a that is absolutely like a forty nine year old woman pitched up. <laughs> Gotcha this time, Sonic. Hey. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. That is rough, sir. Very rough. What's the deal? Why can't you just go bother someone else? Are you doing anything special today? It's, I love it that draw. Uh, that fucking drawing's great. I love. Can you go back to fucking? Yeah. <laughs> I oh, where she baby. stands up. Yeah, where she stands up and her body's a bomb. Yeah, her body's a bong and her eyes are like spread apart. <laughs> <laughs> like she hit just, herself. I just need I need to fucking like make an edit of her just bouncing up and down to like uh the fucking kid cutty Playboy Cardi song. She wanna be great. She wanna, wanna be great. Gotcha this time. She's a She's a hey, what's the deal? Why can't you just go bother someone else? Are you doing anything special today? <laughs> Well, I'm going to be racing Shadow. Jester says that this won a contest. This was submitted for something. What? This video was originally uploaded by Deidre B, my mother. <laughs> back, oh, ooh, back in the summer of 2006, I made the project during my first junior, high, uh, junior year in high school and submitted it to the Marshwood Film Festival. It won the first place. Oh. My reward for first place was a nifty Oscar-like statuette and three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I I can only assume that no one else submitted. The animation was done with cutout paper figures, colored with pencils and markers, scanned into the computer. God, that's a labyrinth. Uh, you, Why wouldn't you, you just know, draw you know in one Photoshop? Other. If there was one other fucking submission, you know, it was like three kids forced by their teacher to like do a video to Gungam style or some shit. Yeah. And they had yeah. they had to submit it for a grade. This was 2007. This was a pre Gungam style world. Oh damn. That's right. What song yeah. do you think they would have been doing then? Oh, uh Tonight's Gonna Be a Good Night by the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that one and then like the the radio edit for what's that one fucking song let it rock yeah let like, it rock let it rock let it or rock. like fucking uh, poker face by lady gaga yeah I mean one too yeah man i'm yeah just, I, I, got, I got a bit distracted by those recommendations that youtube done digi dirty with Oh, I, this is why I use a different browser for these yeah. streams because yeah, uh, well, yeah. this is a nightmare <laughs> case in point case in point I I have the worst recommendations on Brave now because of these streams I do. Uh, fuck. Shit, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. That, like, I was saying to Depreston in the chat earlier that, like, if he, if he made many of these, if he made multiple of these, he probably would have been in contention with Chris. Like, just for the content. Probably. Like, this is Chris-esque, one could argue. Yo, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I would argue like it's better Blue than Apple anything contest. Chris has done, but this is like I kind of wish that they crossed paths just so they could do the Sonic and Shadow Adventure Two pose together, the, where they're like the crossing bodies over. <laughs> People say Avengers the ultimate nail. crossover. Are you gonna marry me after that? I bet you are. I bet For you the are. Last time, no. I've been through this many times before, and I don't want to have to go through it again. Come on, you know you want me, True Blue. She hey. says to her son. She says to her son. <laughs> man, I was, I was saying to the depressed as well, it's like, this man genuinely got his mom to hit on him <laughs> and record it, and he was none the wiser. What are you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on, I need to do something hang up. important. Hmm, I think he likes me. <laughs> oh, her her mom voice came through on that one. God damn. Yeah, <laughs> I think he forgot to pitch that one up. 
She sounded like Princess Caroline from Bojack Horseman there. God damn. <laughs> you want a mom likes... you can stick your dick in. <laughs> I, I think Gumpil does, yeah. <laughs> How We Die, Harry Potter, To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> oh, hi, Sonic. Knuckles, it's important that you hear this. Something romantic just happened to me. Uh, are you okay? It looks like you were kissed. I was. By Amy. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Whoa. look. I'm gonna be racing Shadow in half an hour at Green Hill, but I really need to take a nap in your house somewhere. Gosh, I don't know about take that. A, I take just a nap. Please. Okay, take, so take a nap. Big quotation. I've I've known people. I remember high school. I've had <laughs> I've had friends who went over to other people's houses to take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap on their bed. Uh, I'm gonna. I gotta take a nap. You gotta take a nap, and then uh, I. And then fucking Joey comes home and uh, lays on. Where my where are his socks? There's some weird, weird. Yeah, where are his socks and why is Where's there my... a stain on the bed? I I know I changed my pillowcases. What happened? Now, like I I know um, uh, Deadwing covered this, and like his working theory was that this is Guptill being naive and thinking when his parents went to bed they were going to bed after kissing like they would kiss then they would they would go to sleep when when that when in actuality they were having i assume violent sex <laughs> wall shaking like mm, there must screaming. be a lot of earthquakes around this area well my dad sure is a snorer <laughs> up myself <sighs> up till does oh, not know what sex is my couch. <laughs> oh, thanks man i owe you one oh. Oh. Uh, little help anyone <laughs> was that cyber dreads cyber dreads yeah <laughs> cyber the dreads are gonna guess the beard like the infamous cyber actor dreads. cyber dreads hey there shadow oh it's you sonic Hey, I have a curious question to ask, honestly. Do you think I might be able- Well, his father may not be in his life, but that doesn't mean that D.B. Cooper doesn't bring suitors to the home. <laughs> me, me and Harold are gonna take a nap. Yeah, Dylan. that's that's probably where he got the idea of going to a friend's house for the nap. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be playing Sonic Heroes, Mother. I have an animation I was hoping you'd voice in. Yeah, yeah, later. Be able to outrun a Harrier jet? Well, maybe if you tried hard enough. But what about you? You think I could outrun you? I doubt it. Yeah, I, I think he. I think he's actually that. Mormon. I'm Bring pretty it, sure he mentioned that. Hedgehog. Oh yeah, I could. I could All see right, it. All right, you guys. I could see it. Get into positions. Damn, his mom's putting okay. in work. Okay. On my count. Three, two, one. <laughs> go. My count. Why can Amy stand stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Amy stand stuff in the back, killing me, man. What fucking meme? That reminds me of some. Me that reminds me of that Jerry meme, like Tom and Jerry. Yeah, he's like, and he's like with the face and like, the. Yeah. He's looking like DJ Academics. Three, yeah. Two, one. It's your boy DJ Academics. Today we talking about the race war in Chirac. Get me. <laughs> what the? Might as well. Might as well. Mustn't give up. You gotta beat this guy. This might be the easiest three hundred and fifty dollars ever made. <laughs> That's crazy. He was not, not entirely. <laughs> I have sold a beat for that much. Holy and, shit! And, and, and I made it, and I made it in under like five minutes. God damn. You gotta, you gotta show me which people you're talking to, because I didn't sell a beat for that much. I think the highest beat sale I ever got was, like, closer to 200. Yeah, but, uh, that, you know, that's but, the usual. Yeah. 
this race shall soon be mine. How the? <laughs> how on earth did you I catch up? I will be the master of this Some race. Some people call me the fastest thing alive. Go on, keep telling yourself that. But now. Oh damn! He just uh, he his ass. Foul. <laughs> That's foul as shit. How could I lose? What's because the time, he found Bill? you. I don't think you was... finished. <laughs> he kicked you in the fucking head, dog. <laughs> You can't do that in a race. Can you imagine you seeing Bolt just like hauls off, punches someone in the fucking mouth, and keeps sprinting? <laughs> God damn. Oh man, that's a banger comment from Depressed. Guptill is the Stanley Kubrick of shitty Sonic fan animations. He forced DB Cooper to record her lines over and over until she got it right. Yeah, he, like, did the full Shelly Duvall thing where he would, like, close the door hard on her and, like, go out drinking with friends and not invite her and shit. Just, like, psychologically assaulted his mom. <laughs> In three minutes and twelve seconds. Yeah, pretty good time. I am the fastest thing alive. Uh-huh. For now. For now. Hell yeah, D.B. Cooper, my boy. <laughs> that's that's such a fucking based pseudonym that his mom has. <laughs> that's it like blows my mind that she came up with that fucking pseudonym and just like call me DB Cooper. <laughs> I'm picturing Dylan Guptill's mom's watching like Terry Davis archive videos and go like yeah. Yeah, N words. God damn. Uh, Dustin uh, says, what's up, Brains? You should have whipped out the excessively zesty rabbit for this one. How's the rabbit zesty? He's just know. me, but a rabbit. Doom, you've there seen, you you've seen the bunny that's stills. The that's, the, that's the zest right there. <laughs> oh, man. Are you are you good on time? Or you got a dip? Oh, I know you said like around seven or something. One more. All right. Like if it's if it's like a ten minute John or like seven minute. Yeah, I just I don't want to keep you. So let's let's do his voice demo reel. This is oh, Dylan. Okay. This is Dylan Guptill's voice reel. Rabbits aren't gay. Rabbits are nice. <laughs> Fucking sound effect, goddamn. <laughs> care about in this park is the safety of the kids he sounds more like spongebob yeah he he did not sound like Earth no either. it's a me mario Hoo -hoo. Oh. that's i don't know that's, that's mario it's i guess better. oh better. nice computer you got here can i have it oh no he kept talking all you people have a rotten day Auga. Luigi, King Koopa has the princess locked up in his Coney Island disco palace. Now, I fought my way out, and I've been looking for you ever since. We gotta go back and rescue her. Well, then we better go now before I get scared just thinking of... That's... that's just you, Dylan. Why does Luigi always get that? Mario always got, like, the fucking Brooklyn accent out the yeah, ass. Yeah, then Luigi's then, then just Luigi's a regular just like, guy. Hello, Mario. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mario. <laughs> Hello, Mario. How are you doing today? Today we are discussing sex ed. <laughs> About it. Oh shit, depressed. And yeah, if, uh, once once Doom leaves, yeah, if you want to tap in, I'm I'm more than down to have you on because we were gonna we were gonna look at some. Uh, uh, what's his fucking name? That's the dinosaur motherfucker's name. Oh, game dude. No, no, no. no we're gonna look game at dude. game dude later. We're gonna look at. Uh, uh, is it Jason Garcia? The fucking blue dinosaur? Yeah, Jason Gomez. Jason Gomez. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You're gonna be sad that you're missing this part. I can't lie, Doom. <laughs> I'll catch this the is preposterous! Ah, you're killing me! Don't you understand I'm an innocent bystander? Come on! Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. This is Fox, returning yeah, to base. Jason Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> this man's transmissions are fucking insane. Needs to be a DJ for them transmissions. 
<laughs> the amount of fucking ridiculous sound effects he just keeps throwing out. You're off your game, Fox. Yeah, depressing. Gee, I've been Jason saved Gomez, by Fox. Yeah. How swell. The sky looks the same. So do the stars and the moon. I guess Chaos Control must have sent me here. I traveled through space, but did I travel through time too? Am I the only one here? Are all the others gone? Well, guess I'll find out soon enough. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Oh, shit. No, uh, I was ready for uh, Gong uh, Japanese Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be for the fucking like Asian dude from Courage. I'll show you going, you fool. <laughs> it's just da 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 Look, Vector. You may be the leader of the Chaotix, but your solutions are the strangest I've ever seen in my life. You really need a better brain. I don't think you understand. I've got the best intuition anyone could ask for. I don't. <laughs> the fucking cut shot. Every time I am in the street, I hear. Hey, 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 mafia. <laughs> dramatic, dramatic, dramatic. I need your sympathy. DJ drama. I can do this alone. Up. Buy me some time if you have to, but assistance doesn't matter. This is what it sounds like when you chaos control into the hood! <laughs> Stop to me! Drama! Now. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you, thank you. Oh shit. God, the fucking gunshot. <laughs> the gunshot and the fucking... Hello, my name is Cowboy Tanaka. <laughs> I, I, man, like genuinely, that gunshot, I was expecting to hear cannon <laughs> right after. Dramatic, like the dramatic. fucking Young Chop scream. Like, <laughs> young Chop. <laughs> <laughs> these, bitches these bitches love Sosa. Jow beats, holla at me. <laughs> I just hit a sting, Fanito. <laughs> fucking dying man well yeah if, if you got a dip homie we appreciate you being here man um, oh, yeah. I know it was on very short notice I appreciate you doing this oh, no, uh, this was great I had a great time yeah this this was fucking hysterical so uh, yeah thank you so much for being a part of this shit oh, no problem anytime you have a um, good one I will plug our episode uh, with Club Doom as our guest is going to come out tomorrow. Uh, and we just do, you know, buy the numbers interview and just fucking vibe with the homie. And Club Doom and I, we got a beat tape. We got a fucking album coming out. We don't mm -hmm. have a title yet, but we're working on music like crazy. Shout out Club Doom. This man can rap his goddamn ass off. <laughs> Hell yeah. And this dude make fire beats. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, peace, peace. Appreciate peace. you coming on. All right. Well, I guess it's just me. Yeah, Depreston, if, uh, if you're free, I'll absolutely tap you in right now because uh, <laughs> we're going to be watching some fucking funny-ass dinosaur shit. I'm, uh, I'm calling you right now. And I'll I'll try and switch over the audio as quickly as I can. That should be coming through when uh, if and when you do answer. Okay, shit. Depressed, are you there? Oh, damn. He ain't. He ain't here. Okay. Is that you? Are you yo. here? Hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> we got we got the emergency depressed and uh, tag in. <laughs> Man, 
I'll, uh, it was getting a I... little too dark. I had to bring in some vanilla, if you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Let me uh, let me see if I can very quickly pull up your stills. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't planning on being on tonight, but if you're looking at this <laughs> little, <laughs> little... There he is. Dude, I was... Yeah. I was not expecting Super Origami Kingdom to be the fucking gold vein that they are, dude. But I, these, these guys are hysterical, man. I was watching it with, you know, you were live and fucking little blue little foot came on screen and I died. Oh, man. Five dollars from Confused Cabal. Or, nope, that's uh, that's an old one. Where's where's the newest one? I just got one. Oh. Huh. That's weird. That didn't pop up. You know, shout out to Grape Soda. <laughs> shout out, shout out, Grape Soda. Oh my god! No, yeah, <laughs> and that <laughs> Toma Toma Gaming guy, dude. I got a oh man. Shout out, Penis Hell. Penis Hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's that. That shit fucking killed me. Where he's just screaming. About, uh, I, I, it blew my mind when he was like talking about the condom character in Sausage Party and oh, he yeah. didn't put together that like a douche had been in this movie for like 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I mean, didn't he call it like a canteen or some shit? Like, yeah, like, it's like yeah. arguably more disgusting than, than the, uh, the condom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how any s sexual reference to him is a. He calls it a sausage party reference, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are incredible, man. So this is uh I know I know Deadwing watched this video, but man, this one this one's a masterpiece. So this is Astro Boy Productions, and he is uh adjacent to the Super Origami Kingdom. Okay, so he's not on their channel, but he's like friendly with them. Yeah, and he's especially friendly with Jason Gomez. Like mm -hmm. they're they're pretty tapped in. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, not screen sharing, by the way, so I can't see exactly what you're looking at. Oh, shit, my bad. No, it's I fine. Thought I, I thought I already did. Now you can see how many fucking tabs I got over. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I know, everyone says it, man. Oh. Yeah, you're bro. not logged in, are you? Because I, I'm seeing no. Mr. Enter fucking in your recommended dub. No, no, this is, I use this browser purely for this shit. I would never. <laughs> you would never. I would never be locked in to Jesus do this. I imagine if you were, dude, it would be nothing but luck. I would just have like Teen Titans Go reviews, SpongeBob, like. Oh, you, know, all... <laughs> you could probably get some pretty funny, like, like uh, people to look at if you were to do that shit. <laughs> like, actually, though. I should, yeah, I should just like do a recommendation tab stream at some point. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see how far we get into this one. I have a few other ones pulled up, but these guys are fucking hysterical to me. So this is Anime VTuber. This has got the Astro Boy Trap remix. It's so bizarre to see, like... Astro Boy's an old ass anime, ain't it? <laughs> like Astro Boy's like yeah, Astro like, Boy's like Showa era, so that's like post war. Yeah. Like Astro Boy started in like the late fifties, early sixties. Yeah, I mean it, it was one of the first. I mean I guess I guess this guy likes the classics, but Yeah, but he's he's very passionate about Astro Boy. <laughs> This fucking intro, man. What is this fucking intro? Iron Man ass boots. Hey guys, it's me. Was not ready. I was <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, it's me. <laughs> uh, John Joe Jameson, ask your mom what the douche is. Astro Boy, 
And uh, we have a situation on our hands. Uh, And it's a lot worse. Because we have a new enemy in town. A new enemy in town. A new enemy has come in. It's like the president declaring war on fucking Russia. What is it? And that's why we're. (laughs) Fucking Astro Boy calling the press conference. (laughs) He's got like Tomatoa Gaming and fucking little, all the rest of the super origami kingdom around his little <laughs> conference table. Uh, America? <laughs> We've got a new enemy. He's posting mean comments. We're going to rent on a user. I gotta figure out what the fuck font they use for these, because they all use the same horrible font. They do. Fuck it. I can't take... Like, <laughs> I, mean, I know I shouldn't talk. I, I use a stupid little fucking Adachi picture to represent me, but why blue little foot with just a regular ass T-Rex? <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for all the it, it, it is. I, I am not original. Yeah. This was a user that keeps bashing in on us when we had nothing against him or so, her. To t- so their problem with him is that he makes fun of them. Not that he's like a pedophile or something. Yeah, he's he's like he, just he, a he, jerk. He's just like he, a, an asshole to them. He's us. He's essentially doing what he's, we're doing. Man, I'm so excited for these guys to make like the two-hour Black Brains is a criminal video. They're gonna play some fucking Mega Man EXE music and go like, Black Brains is mean. <laughs> He Fucking makes, have Goku makes, yelling at me. Yeah, like he makes beats using other people's videos. <laughs> what does this mean? It's really rude, you guys. To tell you the truth, guys, we uh, were. I think I'm expecting it at this until point. This guy <laughs> keeps framing us when we had nothing. I want the four hour. I want all the smoke. Her. I want the four hour and video. So to tell you this, Ooh, guys, we're gonna have to watch the this full, full fucking four hours. <laughs> to give us some answers to tell us why he or she hates Super Origami Kingdom. Okay. Because one of my friends named KTPG Gaming was trying to okay. get some answers from this idiot user, but this <laughs> user refused to give him some answers. And for what Dog City Dog 6 told me before- Dustin, they do not want the smoke. They do not- The amount of, like, actual rappers who, like, you know, commit crimes and kill people that I work with. <laughs> they do not want me to drop the Super Origami diss track. <laughs> I, can, I can just give, like, a nigga from Detroit all the info and go, like, yeah, this guy who's a crab is into teenagers. Write a, write a song. Wait, for I can't wait for the fucking hood versus Super Origami Kingdom boy, dude. <laughs> I've got I've got too many fucking black connects to pursue this. Is a criminal. Maybe that's the reason they won't go Plus, after you. You're black and you, yes, you know black people is also the Yeah, they'd be scared. These kids, these kids probably have never seen a black person. Never <laughs> that's all I'm saying. On my <laughs> friends' <laughs> opinions <laughs> during the rents on every bad movie that we have Sonically. never supposed to watch. And this user really reminds me and my friends about. About? <sighs> dare I uh, say it? Come the on, say it. kings that we fought against last year. <laughs> so. <laughs> what? We, we, haven't, we haven't gotten into it, but the Omni Kings were a group that trolled the Super Origami Kingdom and Dogs Eating Dogs 6, respectively. And they were literally like two 12 year olds and some neckbeard. They and got and the fuck out by twelve year olds. Yeah, who were making like plush videos. They had, like some kid who was like waggling a pip up and going like, "The Super Origami Kingdom sucks." And then, then they made like a four hour video going like, "They are impudent assholes." 
in response to it. It's it's a lot. It's I'm, there, I'm surprised there's a lot happening. They haven't called you out yet. Anyone from no, the Super Bowl job? No, I I I'm shocked because like I know when when Deadwin was covering them, uh, dogs eating dogs six issued a hilarious apology in response to it. Because, he, like, wait, he issued an apology. He didn't like send him like a cease and desist. No, because because Deadwing was bigger than him, right? Like, uh, Deadwing yeah. has like you know close to two hundred k subs. So fucking dogs eating dog six goes. I'm sorry for yelling about Family Guy because he thought that was the issue and not you know creating a like a three hour harassment video targeted towards children. <laughs> he was he was like, oh man, this this. And this crippled bear, this one-armed bear is very mad at me. <laughs> I gotta apologize. Because his yeah. funny YouTube numbers are higher than my Man. funny YouTube numbers. Gestures, gesture, yeah, you're right. The, the Omni Kings were there fucking Vietnam, dude. It's Yeah, it's like they did a tour of duty. I, the way that they talk about it, it's like a Dragon Ball Z saga. Like, they fought these bad guys. And now, now new villains who are even stronger have emerged. Like, they treat this shit like it's a fucking anime. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's what I love about this... Laughing. That's what I love about this shit, because it's like five people, like, with crossed arms going, That's right! We're about to defeat these bad guys! Yeah. Oh my god, his sub count is over 200,000! Quick, issue an apology! Yeah, so, you know, I'm I'm not even at 500, so I anticipate the Black Brains is a bully and a bad man oh, yeah. because video soon. Wait, how, mu how many do fucking, uh, how much does the Super Origami Kingdom have? I they think can't... they've got, they've got like 700 or something. Okay, I was gonna say, they can't have more than 1,000, <laughs> not with how <laughs> shit they are. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm looking forward to, to hearing dogs eating dogs go, his hair is white, even though he's black! And just like the three of them, this user is also the attention seeker. And all of the my friends agreed seeker. that this user is really worse than those three Omni brats. <laughs> we really do, Jeremy. And my friends and I are very, very tired of this user oh, shut up, Mesa. and attempting to shut down Super Origami Kingdom. We keep ignoring him to pretend he doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. But yet, this use Close your eyes to this to us yeah, every Yeah, he doesn't exist just day. like uh, lesbians, and right? Not they only don't that, exist. Yeah. That this they are <laughs> invisible to me. <laughs> this is exactly what I want to re replicate if I was ever to do an edited video about these guys. Because I would love to do like an intro where like, like I introduce like 30 people. And, and they have to introduce their, uh, what, what would they call it, a dynamite gal or yeah. some shit like Yeah, that. I was like, <laughs> like, everyone would have a fucking waifu. Okay, gotta be. <laughs> you, would, you would have, like, a still of Liara from Mass Effect besides you or some yeah, shit. Yeah, that's what I'll be fucking like. <laughs> And this is my waifu, Atali Zora Vos Normandy. <laughs> She's a dynamite gal. User has 14 hate videos in total, which clearly that is way over the limit. And for what I have to say, guys, Wait, I, like and I, are fed I don't know up what with the this limit user. for hate videos are. Are you allowed seven? Yeah, there's a cap. Yeah, it's it's it, once it once it borders into triple digits, you gotta cut the shit. Okay. Like... <laughs> well, who the fuck is this guy? Is this one of his friends? <laughs> This is literally Mega Man from the Battle Network games. This what? isn't his friend. This is a fictional fucking character. Okay, so he brought it. So they're doing what they did in this Super Origami, where they just bring in fictional characters to shit on. <laughs> this is like the Mega Man where he's like in a computer and fights viruses and stuff. I don't know fucking anything about yeah, Mega Man. Dude. <laughs> All I know is it's fucking funny that he's he's got the internet Mega Man to go like, yeah, we were scanning the net and saw this guy. <laughs> and this time that this Going after needs a guy to with end 31 right subs. now. Isn't that <laughs> right, Lan? Yeah, you're right, Mega Man. This <laughs> guy. It's not e it's not even fair. It's not fair that these guys are so fucking funny, man. 
<laughs> you guys are fucking great, dude. I, I hope I hope laughing. they make content forever. I pray. I pray got, that they don't. I don't <laughs> to this fucking super orc Abby guys and Astro Boy. I know we're bullying you, but please keep keep. Please, for the love of God, you guys are so great. Like, you guys are so funny, and you don't even realize it. <laughs> Like, I i don't think I've come across shit like that since, like, since, like, the major lol cows or something. Of, like, going, like, this guy's genuinely speaking, this like, is... he's Lan from Mega Man. Yeah, like, with like... 100% sincerity. <laughs> Absolutely. It's like watching, um, like, I don't know, Chris Chan for the very first time, you know? Yeah. I'm just dying. These guys are so fucking funny. <laughs> And I just want them to keep being dorks. Yeah, it's, I I pray that they don't take this the wrong way. Yeah. I, you know, I said before, don't bully these guys. I think they're great. You know, I think that most of them are just fucking funny internet guys. So I <laughs> that's know. right, Mega Man. That's right, Mega Man. I want to know why the dinosaur is eating a JPEG of headphones with blood. <laughs> It's because he's pissed. Film Nerd sends $5 saying, on behalf of the autism community, I sincerely apologize for all this cringe. Well, thank you for being the autism ambassador. Yeah, thank you. Will it thank you. We're not forgiving it Film Nerd, right but we now. appreciate it. Oh, thank you. That's right. We cannot That's right. deal with That's right. this anymore. And it's time that this... I'm just, I, I just know it would be so fucking funny to have you say something and then cut to Zuki and he's like, That's right. <laughs> And then we also we gotta throw some other just like you know fucking throw throw um throw Trevor Phillips from you know goddamn yeah, crossed arms Max Payne's there and he's like yeah even though my wife and Mona died these guys are really mean I'm coming back from Brazil to stop them instead yeah the big boss and like all the other snakes are there and they're like yeah we're all teaming up to stop. Super Origami Kingdom. Even Liquid Ocelot said that they were being bullies, so he joined us too. <laughs> Must yeah. end. For what I have to say that this guy what do you think, Chie Satonaka? terrible content <laughs> on his or her channel. If this user keeps posting terrible cringe... I don't know which ones are supposed to be fictional this... characters and which ones are supposed to be other reviewers. Because they this... just... Take, they like, blur together. They totally do. blur together. Like, like Littlefoot guy, like that's an established character. He just painted yeah. it fucking blue. <laughs> yeah, just called it a day. This is this is um this is the main character for Mega Man Star Force, which is an, another Mega Man spinoff. Uh, uh, I know Bruce is dying because Bruce is a very big Mega Man fan. <laughs> User Someone would said we should get Rogue in the video. Yes, subscribers. We get Rogue in the video. If this user keeps and we should, but should not get him to voice his own character. Someone else to voice his character. Do like a Rogue, Rogue, Rogue would absolutely not do that. He'd go like brains. That's gay. I don't want to do that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Just he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do okay. it. He wouldn't. He would get this. He he knows even less about anime than Depressin. So he would just think that this is. People who don't have chromosomes speaking. I mean, he's not wrong, but he's not wrong. <laughs> oh wait, w w what did they say about Tomato Gaming Dot? <laughs> Is he in the video? Oh, I don't. He's not in this one, no. But uh, I think they were just saying that this guy was targeting Tomato Gaming Da, rightfully so. <laughs> Yeah, because he's a pedophile, isn't he? Is yeah, he, he, he is. is. He, he like objectively is. posting yes. cringe. I mean. Look at all these hate videos that this user made. Those are just terrible <laughs> content. Like, really, these hate videos are all nothing but cringe. Personally, Gio, I. <laughs> Why is Shadow here? I can't. I, I'm fucking going in hysterics. Well, Gio. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just keeps bringing in all his favorite fictional characters to roast this guy with 31 subs. I'm fucking <laughs> Yeah, man. We, we'll get, like, old Aiden Pierce Rogue. We'll get uh, the pink ugly asterisk. And we'll get, like... That's right, guys. Asterisk here. With a totally different voice. It'll be good. It'll be great. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> just like, just like, I don't well, <laughs> what do you think, Johnny Marston? I don't like it. <laughs> don't even try with the voices. Yeah. Like well, <laughs> these guys are being bullies. <laughs> I reckon they're bullying. I, have I love me. black brains. Always <laughs> keeps love posting boys. terrible content they make fine beats. on his they make fine beats. Mm -hmm. to think that this user deserves more population than Super Origami Kingdom has. Oh. <laughs> well, huh. if I ever see the oh. idiot's face, I would immediately destroy him with my Chaos Blast. <laughs> and this for shock. <laughs> this is like, this is more ambitious than Smash at this, this point, is. man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see fucking Goku I wasn't ready here. for Goku. Discovery. This user also hates one of the most iconic animated series that was made from Japan. Me that might say this. this because this user's name had the letter anime. So does this mean that this the letter user anime. hates all <laughs> anime? <laughs> Wait, yeah, wait, what did Goku fucking say? I'm kidding. Goku, Goku said, despite having anime in his name, does that mean he hates all anime? And that was a diss? Which it was not. It was not. It was not a diss. That wasn't he, even a fucking joke. I, I saw, what was it? Maggie, Ma, 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 Maggie, Mad okay, something along those lines. Yeah. Magic and Madoka, yeah. Yeah. All these guys seem to fucking worship that show. You, you watch... Gay shit yeah, like that, I, brains. Yeah, I do. Is it, I do is it good brains. or are they just into the garbage? No, it, it actually is good, but like, I can't believe I'm saying this. They're like watching it wrong because it's like, uh, Madoka's supposed to be like a deconstruction of that whole like magic girl genre. Like, it's very like mature and like about like interpersonal relationships, despite like the whole kind of image of everyone wearing like the magic girl outfits and you know using magic or whatever so like but they're just watching it straight ahead they're like ignoring all that subtext and like character development they're just going like wow cute girl cute girl wow right if he hates one then that means that he hates all of them <laughs> i'm mention, aware of this this user you hate one and make hate them all content without <laughs> even with, like people and stuff them. as well right yeah, yeah. you yeah. might have to say this you hate Tariq Nasheed, I guess you hate black people. <laughs> to tell these users that oh, you, you have like been Spike mentioned Lee's onto films? their <laughs> channels. Black directors. But this user did not give credits to them. Shit, I saw Sonic. Therefore, that this Hell user yeah. is a Blue thief arms. Hell yeah. and a dangerous criminal. While I was Sonic looking at this Sonic Underground, content, that's my only knowledge of Sonic. Look at all this. The two best Friday shows. Night yeah. Yeah, exactly. videos? Wow. This user just stole those musics from Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, music, this user just stole those musics from Friday Night Funkin'. I didn't steal any of these characters from the animes. No. <laughs> this is their actual opinion, guys. Presenting as a character from a copywritten show. Hey, this guy stole music. Without yeah, I can't believe these credits. guys, these bullies, stole all and these anime characters. What do you think, my wife, cringe. Monica? My and other wife. I have to say that this user <laughs> was also trying to avoid copyright by using <laughs> these music from Friday Night Funkin' without giving credits. Not only that, this user has also been stealing Astro Boy's and his friend's profile pics to make them cry and anime VTubers <laughs> so-called friends <laughs> laughed at them yeah. for this, such... This a eight, view, eight views? These guys are gonna, like, crucify me. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm done, man. These guys are gonna run up with like, black brains. Sampling is stealing music, and he does it occasionally. You need every sound needs to be unique, or you need to give credit back to the original creators. Don't you guys do mashups of copywritten music? That's different. Stupidity. 
They stole a fucking entire thing from whoever this fucking I don't know who animated yeah, this. Yeah, this is this is like someone's entire skit. Yeah. And they're and, just like Yeah, they just took it and slapped their own shit on there, just like that guy did, and they're complaining about it. I, I, like I would argue that the joke that they're criticizing is actually like I mean it's not good, but it's probably very original because it's like a nobody criticizing other nobodies. Yeah. No, they stole this little what is this like SFM animation or maybe yeah. it's Gmod. But the audio from this, I know this. It's from fucking Psychic Pebbles. It was an old ass fucking animation. Yeah, this is this is like some flash. So, so they're double sure, stealing. Yeah. They're fucking double stealing, fucking <laughs> dorks. God damn it. No, you dumbass! Oh my god, they're right. This is 58 fucking minutes of bullying this fucking kid with like. These guys never make anything with gravity. And they next go. Time, I will eat your limbs! Do you understand? You putrid fing. Yeah, that's yeah. really way too far yeah, to do show something them, like Mario. That. Yeah, and do you yeah, know show them. What that could lead to? Bullying. Bullying to suicide. <laughs> and neither really, this user doesn't even care if it's suicide or not. But still, yeah, this I user can't has imagine no right to he got bully bullied. innocent <laughs> good <laughs> users on YouTube on his or neither on TikTok. I mean, I uh, oh, yeah, I guess I don't know. know. <laughs> anime YouTuber has a TikTok account as well. Jesus Christ. So go check that out and He's make sure to block that old. and report He's that on TikTok as well. <laughs> and not to mention, this user also has three accounts. Two on YouTube and even three on TikTok, which two are the same ones on both YouTube and TikTok and the third one is just only on TikTok. So the other channel that this user has is Anime Cat, both on YouTube and TikTok, and the third one is Anime Girl, which is only on TikTok. And make sure to go both of those accounts and block and report at those as well. So that way this user won't get onto you guys as well. Guys, don't this block user and report my enemies. I hate you. Idiot. He's just so pathetic. Neither than that, this user will never be more better than Super Origami Kingdom because Super Origami Kingdom will remain strong and be as better than that Damn. stupid uh, anime VTubers channel. See, originally I to wasn't on their side, but then Shadow said it, so now I, I'm, Astro I'm changing. Yeah, I, I, yeah Shadow's got the right ideas. Super Origami Game to be cancelled? Hmm. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> they they never the cancelled anything. And I mean anything. Because anime VTuber says that, which technically that is a lie. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like a fucking fever dream, the way that they make these videos. You know what's man. crazy is we still got 50 fucking minutes of this I shit know. to go through. How, how much do they have to break down? And, like, the worst part is they have, like, no evidence or receipt. Yeah. They just... got, like, one video from, a like, a teenager. Like, a 15-year-old made a yeah, video. Yeah, he said 15 on his account. I can't imagine. Like, this felt like the end. I thought, like, if this felt like this was, like, they're wrapping up, you know. Okay, we bullied this stupid little team. We're done, you know. <laughs> no, we still got 50 minutes to go into this 31-sub channel. Well, they they usually have, like, a punishment at the end. Wait, where they what? Yeah, they, they for these kind of rant videos, they usually inflict a gauntlet of punishments to the people they're criticizing. No fucking way. You are kidding yeah. me. They... I am not. <laughs> Hands of fucking God. These guys are these guys are suffering. These guys are fucking insane. <laughs> they inflict punishment on a little boy's profile pic. 
Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Again, I'm just so eager to hear these guys go. And his friend, the bully in the suit, the Preston, is a criminal too. He's used. <laughs> they're not gonna get my name right. They're gonna go call me <laughs> depression. Yeah, they're gonna call me depression the whole time. Guarantee it if they make a video on. This. <laughs> just playing some fucking Game Boy Advance music in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking Kirby's <laughs> air ride that shit in the background. <laughs> What do you think, Vegeta? I think that this man's a bully. Now let's see what this poster really sets about no, this I idiot user. <laughs> and the attempts are a selfish criminal who is accused of framing good users, telling lies, cyberbullying, stealing videos without giving credits, right. bashing opinions, false accusation, being a psychopath, being unsufferable, <laughs> spreading false rumors, Conspiracy and attempted to shut down Super Origami Kingdom. Literally, That's none of these exactly are what this user was crimes, doing. Dude, but... Trying to shut down Super Origami Kingdom. Now, what are you talking about, B? <laughs> this is good content yeah, right, right here. Right. Don't make me laugh. That is so foolish. Fucking <laughs> Jester says, He's a Dutchie from Persona 4 and he kills people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's worse than bullying. Of this oh, user. dude, I wonder how bad I wanted posters. <laughs> oh yeah, that would suit more better. For <laughs> yeah, they'd be pretty rough. Because <laughs> if this and guy is worse than super... Satan, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you and I are like universe-shattering hell demons or something. I don't know. <laughs> more like anime I, pooper. The fact that they edited a fucking Hitler mustache. <laughs> Down to this now, that's funny name for this idiot user to have. Idiot. And like what Astro said earlier from before, anime yeah. VTuber, <laughs> just like the Omni Brats, this user is definitely the attention seeker. And this user is acting like a child. Because this Goofy user is. wants to- <laughs> He literally <Goofy>. is one. <laughs> Goku, don't fight that fucking 15 year old. Oh, Ted Comments said it's something. Wow, this teenager looks really strong. Ted Comments sends in $2 saying, Have you checked out the Sammy Classic Sonic fans When Will You Learn video yet? Um, oh, not on good. not on stream, but it's a it's an absolute classic. Uh, and Sammy's doing really well. I saw, like... His, oh, is he? His, yeah, he's, like, did an interview with uh, Ellis Mark and his... Horrible wife, as per Just Stop's yeah. accounts. You know, I'm, I'm glad Sammy's Stanic fan is doing okay. Yeah, you know? he's he seems like he seems more well adjusted than most people I mean, who have making the internet kid. content. Yeah, he was just a little kid mad about Sonic not being good. You know, yeah, he, he just that. grew up and he's like a normal guy. It's it's crazy that like Sammy Classic Sonic has his life more put together than fucking Daft Pina or any the, of these people make content. Then Astro Boy Productions, yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> have more attention. Yeah, things that are Did you see that one where it's a Baki crossover with a uh, a uh, Breaking Bad? Oh yeah, the Skylar White Yo one. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if you'd see that. Yeah, one. that that was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say, this user does not deserve any attention because because he or she is an idiot and nobody <laughs> likes his or Thank her you, content bro. these guys these guys hit like a weird like ancient internet soft spot where they just say like the most childish shit they are but it's so great every time they fucking talk about this crap they're just like well this guy sucks i don't yeah. like him i don't like him he sucks <laughs> Ban him. Can't... He's a criminal. Ban him. Kill him. <laughs> I love that it's Goku telling us this, by the yeah. way. Not, it's not just Astro Boy. It's Goku himself telling us that this guy sucks. This is totally contrary to how Goku would act. I mean, it's just like, yeah, this teenager sucks. <laughs> this teenager sucks. <laughs> and like what Gio said before, they're all cringe. All right. I think that's all what we are going to say. All right, Astro, back to you. Back to you, Astro. Thank you, Mega Man, Lan Hikari, Geo Stellar, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Goku. <laughs> he 
can't do it because because I think it's a couple of shit and I'm sick of it. Fucking dude. Not a, not a bit of <laughs> fucking. No, no self awareness to be had no here. No self awareness. <laughs> Thank you, COVID. <laughs> Yeah, it's like if if we were ever to do anything really lampooning these guys, it would have to be like a one to one parody. It would like this whole format of just gotta do like, this. Like, Ed, you got to throw in that thing where everyone introduces to get like a dozen yeah. people to introduce themselves. <laughs> what do you think, Aaron Black from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Why do we got so many cowboys? But... We got several cowboys. Yeah, because it's. <laughs> John Marston, Aaron Black, who else did we have? We had some other cowboy. We'll throw in fucking Arthur Morgan in there. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> I think just like throwing in like characters who aren't from like Nintendo games, like you're just throwing in like Robert De Niro characters from movies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking... What do you think? Don Corleone from hey. The Godfather? These these guys keep stealing content. What do you think about that, little Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> these guys are being bullies, and that's not awesome. <laughs> you guys did a good oh job of exposing that idiot user. All right, now it's time yeah, to let to my call friends him have a turn. To so yeah, first yeah. off, Astro I would Boy, like coward. my number one Astro best Boy, friend, you Jason weak. Gomez. The dinosaur. All right, there Jason, he is. Come you're on, up bitch. to go. Thanks for having me, Astro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dying, man. Thanks for having me, Astro. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. guy, probably, the guy probably had some sort of speech impediment or fucking oh. gauze in his mouth or something. <laughs> Man, yeah, Gex has to be there. Peter Griffin, Ash Williams. Yeah, Ash Williams. <laughs> That's not groovy. You can't be bullying people. I guess. Holy crap, guys. This reminds hey, guys. me of the time that it's I got Jesus bullied in middle school. I didn't like that. And you already know why I'm not in, in a mood like this. <clears throat> I'm just gonna get started right away. Alright, get started, so, let's go! If you saw on Astro's comedy post or not, that the fucking music is too loud, dude. I can't fucking major. hear this little foot guy at all. <laughs> I know the the audio balancing is like horrendous on this. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, you know, people want to hear this this Game Boy Advance music rather than the pe the person speaking. <laughs> Tape videos of my friends in Super Origami Kingdom. And now he made 14 hanks. And then he also added me. Like, really? Oh, so What's the problem? Like... We've done nothing wrong to anime VTuber. Like, what's his problem? What? I like when he starts yelling, he just sounds like Patton on <laughs> We didn't do anything wrong. Right. Oh, after we do. <laughs> I realize it's the same voice I do whenever I try and do a fucking Cobes voice. Yeah, that's what's up, Cobes. That's what's up, Cobes. Jason Gomez here, too. Why does he hate us? If someone had comment, ask anime VTuber oh, dude, you can why spit he hates us. Takes, you know? He doesn't want I to talk about it. I can hear the saliva in his fucking mouth, dude. Like, what do, we do? What well, do we do to you, anime VTuber? Everybody loves we baseball, though. Wrong. And what do you do? You start to hate making hate videos of me, Astro, and all of my friends. And so it's a super origami kingdom. What's your problem? What's your problem? I'm starting What's your to problem? Hate. Do you think uh, that's a fair point, Esmeralda mentions? Do you think we could get uh, Bartleby Monclair of Dresden for a rant video? If we if we could find the exact fucking like text to speech tape it excuses. The exact one. <laughs> it's like, that's right, bitch. <laughs> I, I'm taking Bartleby a quick, Montclair of Dresden. 
I am taking a quick break from spanking my bitch's ass to tell you I don't like bullies. <laughs> <laughs> this is Knuckles the Cool Echidna saying that bullying is bad. You, anime VTuber. <sighs> and no, guys, I'm not gonna go on Fury because that would be really rough for me. Otherwise, I will explode. It'll explode. It'll explode. Well, Shit. Well, I'm, glad I'm not going to say much, but I will say it to the end. <laughs> but I have some of my team that are really mad at anime VTuber. Oh, shit. So, oh, goddamn. I'm going to start with oh, Dark fuck. Bowser Jr. Dark Bowser, Dark Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. You can continue. All right, Dark Bowser Jr. All right. Thank you for having me, Jason. Hello, everyone. I'm Dark Bowser Jr. The audio mixing is so shit. It's, it's so just, bad. I the music really can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> the music's just like right on top. It is. And then he already has like reverb and like all this stuff on his voice to make it yeah. distorted. And I'm guessing this is the same little Bluefoot guy. I don't yeah. know what to call him. Jason Gomez, right? That's what you said. Jason Gomez. Yeah, Jason, Jason Gomez. Gomez. Dinosaur. I'm guessing yeah. he's also voicing this just with like a reverb shit. He already yeah. has shit quality, so <laughs> all that on top of each other. He just sounds like gargling. <laughs> I can't fucking understand it. Yeah, I don't think we can I don't think we can hear from our good oh, friend shit. Dark Bowser Jr., but we've got the Goom Boss. The Goom Boss. Everyone, I Goomboss, the king of all Goombas. I am really mad because anime VTuber. Yeah, I'm really mad. Why is the music so fucking loud? Oh my God. Why would they? What? You can adjust that in your your fucking editing program. You could, you could lower the gain. <laughs> why is it so loud? Because of anime VTuber. Like, why? What do you think, more guy? That's where I'm giving you your video episode <laughs> I don't know why. Fucking everyone. Hate super origami. <laughs> I think they're being bullies, Joker. What do you think? Liquid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 1? Kingdom. I also heard that one of the comments tried to ask him why he doesn't hate super origami. Bullying is bad. Reviews. <laughs> why did you hate us, anime VTuber? Just. Tell us for God's sake! Tell us for God's sakes! And you refuse! Uh, you know what? We all hate you too, anime VTuber. I hate you so much. I I will crush you so hard. Uh, <laughs> we gotta skip ahead and see. Oh shit, spam shows up! <laughs> Fucking, what is going on? <laughs> oh, this this guy is starting to make me annoyed. Uh, and his other videos are, uh, uh, it's a fucking uh, like power uh, uh, <laughs> Stop it! Uh, 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 uh. It's a fucking PowerPoint, dude. You couldn't even you couldn't even crop it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go between the tabs. <laughs> you couldn't even you could have at least used one. You could have at least used fucking Windows Movie Maker, dude. <laughs> yeah, there, like, you, <laughs> there are so many ways you could have done that that worked. <laughs> Google Slides and YouTube. It's an untitled presentation, <laughs> even. I just said it left. <laughs> you spent five minutes making this, dude. Come on. Oh, now. oh man. <laughs> Wait, going to Europe. This guy is starting to piss me off. I have no idea why 
he picks on are friends like that. He's not funny. He's stupid. He doesn't even have anything remotely serious. He's just a stupid idiot who doesn't even make good you love it. This guy is He also spams God. He's not funny. He just he gets the wants from subscribers. The mic. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. And no. I don't care if a flavor text is here or not. I just want my freedom. I yeah. only wanted this to end peacefully. Oh, you want to see you? He goes and streams <laughs> these f***ing comments on every single f***ing video. Oh I shit! Done. Person trying to be sick, oh, in sick. That is not. That is. That's, <laughs> that is not good. We'll, that's we'll not see. good. That's not Guptill approved. Yeah. Not you can't curse. Curse. Can't oh, curse. Whoa. Can't be vulgar. Yeah, it's like. Maybe He's you should go on GameSpot.com's YouTube page and learn a bit about civility. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be happy, but this guy, no, so he doesn't. It's bizarre, dude. Because, like, these guys, it's, it feels like you'd never know what's coming. I wasn't expecting to see fucking Google Slides and tab switching in the video, <laughs> but... I know, yeah. it's, you're never ready for what these guys are going to pull out next. Because, like... like this is making me look favorably at Enter. Enter at least fucking, you know, does it? Yeah. <laughs> God damn, man. Uh, Tusky's saying he's trying to emulate Spamton's speech pattern. Because, like, doesn't Spamton, like, yell certain words in the sentences or whatever? I never played uh, Deltarune. I, just, is it, I, thought that was, I thought it was from Undertale. Deltarune's, like, the sequel to uh, Undertale. Yeah, so. okay. And it shows what I know, man. No, I, me too. I don't. I don't I play, play that game. Listen, I play good games. Yeah, you might. I play fucking fucking schlop. I bought fucking Starfield Day One because I just absorb goy schlop. Anyways, so let's keep going. God damn, you really hate your money that much? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> and no, he refuses to take anything seriously. He refuses to even partake in anything serious. You think I want to listen to your goddamn insult every now and again? Who do you think I am? Omni King Brayden? No. Omni King Brayden? This guy... I should be asking what the hell's wrong with him. I can't lie, I think this is better without you knowing anything about the Omni King saga. I, uh, I don't know, fucking. All I know is that... Still mad about it, dude. They're still mad about these like two 12 year olds are like, these guys um uh suck. <laughs> Listen here! Me and my 29 friends <laughs> made a video. Yeah, tell us what you like, think well, of what's it. wrong with you? Why are you making fun? What do you think about it? Hey, Daddy from Bioshock? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn <laughs> You know what? As soon as the rant comes up, me and my friends are going to rip you to bits with everything we have. Alright? Alright. Prepare right. right. yourself, you big <laughs> Holy fuck, Jester says, hey guys, Todd Howard here. <laughs> Todd Howard. <laughs> These guys are bullies. Holy shit, Todd Howard. These guys are a bunch of bullies. Oh my god, dude. They're not gonna they're not going to get to play Skyrim on next gen. No, <laughs> they're no, bullies. No, I am, my face is actually Well done, Pedro. I was just missing it. The fucking OBS on the end. <laughs> oh my god, Astro Boy, you couldn't even cut that out. <laughs> No, no, absolutely <laughs> no additional editing. This guy, this guy just took all the raw footage he was sent and just went, all right, good. Holy shit, I'm crying. Oh, <laughs> that <old man. laughs> yeah, this genuinely might be one of the fucking funniest videos I've ever watched. <laughs> oh, well man. done, Pagem, and well done, Spamton.
you good two job, did a good job yeah. rudging on <laughs> and the youtuber <laughs> the idiot user <laughs> all right the next person is, is up is hamza hamza what? you're next hamza. hi guys all he does hamza. is calling hamza. fucking backup from other people he doesn't yeah, Astro hasn't done a fucking thing this whole video. He just keeps on pulling in other people. Yeah, he brings in Shadow the Hedgehog and yeah. Goku and spams him in Little Bluefoot to roast this kid. Thank you, Chie from Persona 4, Vegeta. Next up is... Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, George Costanza. And the other Charlie from Good Luck Charlie. <laughs> the dog with the blog from Dog with the Blog. <laughs> Jake Paul. And this rank is about the and... user to turn anime oh. VTuber who keeps uh, framing so This guy straight up doesn't even know English. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's one of the guys from the. Uh, hey, yeah. Team, yeah. I don't yeah. think we did even do. Like. What have we even done to piss him off? Nothing! One example of his villainous acts is making hate videos on the SOK channel and all our rant videos that we do, even though we are about to start more positive videos. I don't know if it's better or worse that he uses a real direct. He used the one from Land Before Time as well. Just painted it like greed or something, dude. No, I think it's I think it's sick that he uses so <laughs> fucking realistic rendering of a T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> it's PNG. Oh my God. I guess he just thinks they're cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it steals content. We don't give it good any enough reason to, to do that. Have you seen uh, Have you seen Dogs Eating Dogs intro? I've not. Okay. Did you play it? No, I haven't. Oh I haven't. wait, don't we want to see the punishment from this video? <laughs> Oh uh, well, maybe we'll see. Oh my back. god! What, what the hell did he <laughs> yeah, do? yeah, he's 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 pretty sick. This guy's not well. All right, so this I, dogs eating dogs is the Rosalita love that, that had the big fucking yeah. harem. Okay, I forget if this is the King Ollie intro or if it's the Family Guy intro. I gotta find this font if we make We've this video. We've seen a lot of Hotel Mario memes. Wait, wait, that, was it you? that wasn't you? No. Oh. No, that wasn't me. Okay, I thought I thought that was him turning off the fucking thing like that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> this this intro is a masterpiece. We don't have to watch the rest of this video. I'll I'll go back to the previous one. It's so oh, stale, watch this. horrible as it seems. But where are those creative, well-made mashups, which all of us can rely? Lucky there's a mashup guy. He's been making so covers. He's a Rosa yeah. lover. There'll be lots yeah. of things that'll make us. It's Family Guy mixed with Megalovania. Christ. <laughs> it's maybe the two worst fucking things you could combine. Worst options you could have had, man. <laughs> it's like someone brings a salad and you go like, oh, you know what this could use? Uh, oh, what? fucking capers and lard. Let's put that in there. Love and cry. Oh, my own thing. Yeah, the body. Masculine car and lyrics with fucking. I don't know. <laughs> well, here we go. My oh, second that's rant that's on my cool. channel. Yeah. So, what happened last time? Batman and Robin, an absolute disgrace to the Batman film series. I always think about his parents. You know, I always think about his parents in, like, the kitchen, just... Yeah. Like, I don't like it very much, no, thank you. This kid's turning out to make a movie or something! Dude, just like, oh, God. Come on, dude. Just, just keep it. I see. Oh my god! And this time, sharks, it's gonna be on a show. Batman. A lot of people I see Garfield. Love. I see Darth Vader. There's a lot to unpack here. Yeah. A show a that lot. was amazing, the Joker, charming, and funny. The Joker. But now, I, th I think that's Pickle it is Rick at the top right. Pickle Rick. Insufferable. And that is. Oh, family Guy. 
God. Because you're saying they need to listen to some Okay, before you grab this, your torches and pitchforks... <laughs> can at least pick a good art. <laughs> I was going to say slightly more coherent than what we're watching, but not by much. Uh, <laughs> Brains rate this beat. Uh, yeah, the opening's a banger, man. 10 yeah. out of 10. <laughs> it seems today... That all yeah, Mario you. means. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I like how how off beat he is at the start too. It's like the hotel Mario means, even though that game is horrible as it seems. Don't think I'm the most hateful so person on the guy, planet. No, this guy definitely the watched entire Mr. galaxy. But is now please mad just. At Hear me out. Oh, yes. Family Guy is now becoming a lot more sadistic and just doesn't know when to quit as the show goes on. And I know some of you thinking, Dogzine Dog 6, why did you use the Family Guy theme song for your new intro? Because Family Guy nowadays is only good for nostalgia by looking at past episodes and using clips during Family videos. Guy was never when good. the show first came out during the first four seasons, <laughs> it was you're, endearing, you're very charming, right. and funny, you're and the characters were relatable. No, they really weren't. They never were. They they absolutely weren't. This was just like everything The Simpsons did, but much, much worse. Yeah. I mean, I watch Family Guy still because I'm a fucking dumbass. I throw it on in the background, but I love how these kids, guys are like, yeah, let me seriously rate this. Like, fucking Seth no. MacFarlane gives a shit. He's made Family, his billions. Yeah. Family Guy's like brainless slop. That's kind of what it was intended for. Yeah, it's always what it's been intended for. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> as well as some really amazing moments, especially in season four, aka my favorite season of the show. But nowadays, <laughs> we get the endless like torture. Asian guy getting his neck Talk broke. away gags used way too often instead of, you know, storytelling and many pitiful attempts at making jokes solely for cheap laughs, and they fail at it. This is one of those shows that He's tries to step like on the world because it's so <laughs> edgy and cool. But I've got news for you, it's not! So, let's get to it. Why, Modern Family Guy is a cartoon disgrace. Are we watching the <laughs> <laughs> right. I really don't want to. I kind of want to save it because yeah, it's, yeah, it's a doozy. It's a yeah, doozy. It's so funny. I just, I just desperately wanted to see the fucking Family Guy intro. The family Guy intro. You needed something to cleanse your palate from the. Yeah, I needed, I needed something halfway decent. Yeah. that you ever made, Jurassic. That was very spectacular. Good job. All right, next stop is Rohan Games. All right, Rohan, you're up next. Hello, One after everyone. the other, it's like a goddamn pop game. I know, like, like, dogs eating dog six is definitely uh, who he is, but um, <laughs> like his production values definitely oh, eclipse this. Yeah. yeah. It seems today, aka the video game guy. It's still stuck up. So, thank you for inviting me, Astro Boy. Thank you. Anyway. What's that about that? Oh yes! Let me talk about this. Guys, guys, let's not talk about those users. It's something else. No, no, it's not those guys. It's something. You know who it is? It's enemy VTubers! Yes, boy! Yes, me! Like it! Yes, yeah, sure! Why not? Like Jesus how Christ, can you me? hurry the fuck up? up? This guy is just speaking in circles. I know, it's uh... That's like agonizing. I hope that this person doesn't use that horrible falsetto the whole time. Yeah. She has like my oh fucking my voice, and I hate my voice, so. Yeah, man, I didn't know you were part of the Oracle meeting. Yeah, sorry, man. I, 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 they got shooters out here. You know what I'm saying? Stop taking down on Super Oregon. Hey, yo, you an op, man? Are they making a video about me yet? <laughs> But enemy Peter was wrong. Like seriously. So Go to Peter's did he or he sorry to him? <laughs> nope. He didn't say sorry. That's for sure. This guy is called Heartless Jerk. He you know or what? he I can at least hear fooling us yeah. on YouTube. Like 
Because I read him in, because I bug him and report him. Yeah. I actually bug him. Alright, we gotta we gotta see what they're gonna do to him now. Alright, live, live listener count is 30 Holy million. Holy shit, I, I didn't realize he had 30 people wow. that were watching live. Jeez. Damn, dude, you only got like 22 right now. Oh crap. I know, man. I know. No god, no god, please. I post cringe all the time. That's why I'm sitting at a firm 22. Please, no, not my fans. Don't take away my dumb fan. Oh, crap. They, they seem to do this a lot. Just fucking steal fucking other people's, like, Jeep. Oh, crap, shit. not that merch. Anything but that merch. Swag. <laughs> you get what you <laughs> fucking deserve. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Super Origami Kingdom equals makes actual good content. This guy, you just posted cringe. Uh, well done, Rohan. This is that was very <laughs> spectacular, <laughs> too. Good job. Right. Seems like we made it. Yeah, perfect. like, I can't lie. I'm, I'm cooked if these guys come in. <laughs> and the, part, and yeah, the final dude, part gonna... is mine. They're going to say I'm going to be cringe. This what are the chances one of them says a racial slur? You need to like, give up and surrender. What, 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 what is the betting on that? I can't... That's like going to be my like Death Note light Yagami moment where my eyes glow red. <laughs> I'll be like, you just said the N word on a live stream. <laughs> 16 hate videos about us and Super Origami Kingdom. Your luck has finally ran out. Now everybody will know the truth you about didn't even you get for framing for no right, darn Astro reason. Boy. And that means you have lost. I, now, everyone, I think that they I exist, like Esmeralda. That this user really needs what to a be horrible question. multiple times for his actions, for framing Super Origami Kingdom and all of us too. <laughs> and make sure that you give all of those videos a dislike as well. So that way, this user He's telling us to get go what he deserves dislike their fucking us for no like, dislike bomb this guy. I said guy. this before, and I'll say it again. If you mess with the best, then you lose like the rest. <laughs> Dude, I wish my ego was that big, man. It's just like, <laughs> can you imagine if this guy had like two thousand subscribers? He'd probably act like a dictator. <laughs> Oh my god, he absolutely would. I told you to go dislike him. Why is his channel still up? Report it already. <laughs> Flag his videos. And as for you, anime VTuber, you have lost. Because lost. no one will ever support your channel, and your subscriber number will go down to zero. Now you better tell everyone the truth of why you hate Super Origami Kingdom, as well as me and my friends as well. Refused, <laughs> then everyone will keep reporting your channel for good and <laughs> That's isn't that like exploiting YouTube system? <laughs> it absolutely is. <laughs> like like this guy just gave you like he doesn't like your content. He just doesn't enjoy it. Like yeah. that's all he basically did was just like, oh, these guys stink. I don't like them. Report this man! <laughs> Destroy his I love channel. that, like, I still love the fact that they said he's a criminal. Like, he's yeah. done nothing illegal. They just don't like him. Yeah, he's videos like, shitting on them. Is the entire fucking thesis of this video is this guy was a jerk to us. Ruined his YouTube channel. <laughs> Ruined his life. Forever. Him immediately. That's all I will say to you. All right, I think that should be the end of the rant right now. I okay. think it's best that I would go back on the tight end. Hold on a minute there, <laughs> <laughs> Got jump scared by fucking <laughs> Mega Man. <laughs> hold um, up, hold uh, up. Please tell me this is the punishment. Please tell me we're going to watch this 15-year-old. We're, <laughs> we're, we're not done with this yet. We're not done with this yet. something more terrifying that you need to see. Oh, oh, wait. But Mega Man, I was just about to end this video. Look, I know you want to end it right now, but you need to see this. This is very important. <sighs> okay, fine. I won't end it there. Now, what is it that you guys want to show me? Here, check this out. This is what anime VTuber said about Dog City Dog 6 by calling. <laughs> what is it? Uh, wait.
I'm so confused. It's like evil dog, evil yeah. king dog eating dog. Stop right fucking then. Shock. Check this out. This is what anime. V Smiley face. Super hide wolf. How dare you is, is anime, anime hero, hero academia. Isn't that the one with pedophiles? Being oh, super yeah. set about dog city. He said it triggered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm officially siding with anime VTuber Catboy uh, Josue Me. If if that's him, just go like see. If... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I'll be good. back. Pay for this. I mean, Dark Six it's by calling fucking him fucking incoherent. I know. Stop that, please. Stop. Don't fight and stop Origami Kingdom. Excuse me. That's my Origami. Whoa. What? What did this user say? Yeah. He called Dog City Dog Six evil. <laughs> wow. You know, Guys. I'm going to make a bet that Dog Eating is probably a dick behind the scenes. If I have to <laughs> give it a guess, that's, that's that's what like one of uh, one of the ex members who came into my chat on a previous uh, stream, anime girl, right? Uh, yeah, uh, like multi fandom girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she implied quite heavily that he was kind of a wiener. I mean, he uh, just gives off that vibe the second you speak to him. He wants to be Doug Walker, but or whatever you know, running a big channel of a bunch of dorks that worship I, him. But I can't I can't imagine aiming this fucking low <laughs> and being like, someday I'm gonna be Doug Walker. You know, Doug Walker wanted to be Steven Spielberg or something, right? Like, he wanted to be, like, great, you know? And then he just kind of settled with being Doug Walker. Yeah, but Doug Walker can at least survive off of his... Yeah, yeah. These guys like, survive he made off a of, living, uh, right? Yeah. These guys survive off of uh, my tax money. I yeah, it's, of him. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's, that's my main point, though, is, like, a lot of the guys they look up to wanted to be, like, prolific in their pursuits. And these guys want to be the guys who didn't make it, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty low bar. Uh, they they want to be fucking Mr. Enter. So this user did not just say that. Yep. He said it <laughs> Evil? Right. Evil? And that's the reason why I have to show this to you, because it's very important that you, you need to see. You call him evil, chat. And I'm having a feeling that you're going to rage about this. Oh shit. Uh, well, Anime uh, VTuber. You did not just call Dog City Dog Six evil. God damn, dude. How? Look at his boots any fucking harder. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is like this man is Imagine imagine if he like had to kiss the ass of someone who actually had like power or influence. Yeah, yeah no guys, Astro Boy, he's a real ride or die for Dog City. Yeah. Sick. What the Hey, yo, what the fuck did you say about my boy? Dare you. Oh, yep, here it comes, Lan. Here it I comes. think he's gonna unleash his dark form. Let's get out oh, of this no, room very really quickly. How Evil? Freaking anime so VTuber. No. You better be prepare yourself freaking, what freaking. Astro was going to say about you. Dare you. Uh, that's a good form. It's yeah. Evil form. Evil, evil Astro Boy. Okay. Dark now Astro Boy. You've done it this time, anime VTuber. How freaking dare you? You call Dog City Dog Six evil. I'll evil? That Dog City He's Dog going Six nigga. is not He's going evil. Nigga, great. You oh, are just like Astro those Boy. three <laughs> army cats that we fought against last year. You're worse than them. And all of those sixteen attempts to sabotage Super Origami Kingdom. Well, the luck is out because those attempts have failed, and that means that no one believes. <laughs> the fucking anime music in the background's oh fucking killing God. me, man. Why would you do that? Da, 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 da. <laughs> You know what it's called? I'm gay. No, no, it just sounds like any fucking anime music. All right, everyone. The moment that you have been waiting for is the punishment videos. Oh, no. Now, let's proceed on to the punishments for anime VTuber. Punishments! Hey, all right. Oh, my God.
This reminds me of those fucking go anime videos, dude, where they <laughs> you're like, Caillou, punishment one is getting your penis cut off with a knife. <laughs> grounded, 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 grounded. <laughs> oh, man. Why is that such upbeat music for someone being tortured? These guys are sick. They are. <laughs> What's up with this fucking Mario tennis ass music? <laughs> for, for like, all right, we're gonna kill this guy. Da, 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 da. It's not just kill him, is it? <laughs> They're gonna like torture him and kill him. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. It's like we're gonna put this guy through agony. Ba, da, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Yeah, fucking imagine coconut from all over. <laughs> well, I'll get it for <laughs> Oh, oh shit! What? <laughs> I think I should have the volume because these guys can't balance audio. Shall we send them to the spooky woods? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 I was expecting Slenderman, not fucking... It's not like Fox of the Hound EXE. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs> he looked hyper-realistic. And blue eyes. Dude, no, please, fucking... no. We could've put fucking anything in the woods. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Second part of this one. use a rocket launcher on anime VTuber. Fox in the Honda EXE. spaceship crashed for a planet pop star. Still another fucking G Mod video. Yeah. Kirby and his launcher set off to help Mandalore return to his home. Next. All right, destroyed by Blitzo from Hell of a Boss. Oh boy, Vizzy Pop, my favorite YouTuber. Yeah, you're you're an ally, right, to Preston? Yeah, ally. Fuck okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, hard, homeless motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was Holy it. I guess. Shit, dude, fucking go anime had better. <laughs> Nah, Fox of the Hound on EXE spooked me, man. That, okay, that fucking, okay, no, that one did scare that me. That was uh, Meg. Right. <laughs> Tortured by Mario from SMG4. Super Metal Gear 4? Goddamn. Hey, Stinky! Hmm? Ah. Bro, have you seen Joe? Have you seen Joe, bro? God, this is unhinged. This is fucking shit, dude. This is like... <laughs> Their punishments are just like a bunch of weird, unfunny Zoomer memes, I guess. Yeah. Uh, $5 from Agumon T1. These guys are... These guys are videos are permanently stuck in 2008 YouTube. Uh, I even read that with the error. But, uh, yeah. Th this is... This really does feel like taking a time machine back to a really bad era of YouTube. Yeah. I mean, it was fine for the time, but man, we're getting old. <laughs> That's yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something. Who's Joe? It, Joe Yo Mama! You just got me! Gotcha! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> You just got coconut mauled. Share this with all your friends to totally coconut maul them. <laughs> Fucking hell! God, is it? He's destroyed by Photoshop, Flowey. Please tell me, is this the Spamptum guy again that's gonna destroy him in I, Google I Slug? pray, I pray. Please.
Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm uh, sure if I knew anything about it, you are still eight tell. minutes worth of fucking punishment. Jesus That's... Christ. You, you get what you <laughs> fucking deserve. <laughs> They really took the wrong message away from that movie, didn't they? I did. <laughs> to be fair, I laughed whenever he shot that guy in the head as well, though. So, uh, I mean, it was a good joke. You're not only entitled, childish, and whiny, but you were truly vile. Is that what it says? I truly are. You truly. But are. you truly are an <laughs> idiot. All right, shit. God damn, this 15 year old is childish. Who would have guessed? Yeah, shocking. What? Big Spanish. By this point, I'd just be like, just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. <laughs> Please. Honestly, I think the worst one was the fourth one because that one he just got shoved in a bunch of unfunny memes for like nine <laughs> minutes. All right. Dressing first. That, that was a dinosaur guy, wasn't it? Is this? He's a fucking mobile game. This is like a turn-based dinosaur mobile game. <laughs> okay. Alright, thank you. You get what you fucking <laughs> deserve. <laughs> they just keep on putting it in. That fucking <laughs> that fucking killed me. You get what you fucking deserve. I really did. Losing yeah, subscribers have to post and cringe. I bet no one even cared. Oh man! They were, didn't they already play this fucking they, video? They absolutely did. But maybe it's different. Oh crap! No, it's the exact same no. video. It's, it's the exact, exact same video. <laughs> uh, all right, you get deleted off of YouTube by Mega Man and Proto Man. Bruce, you're gonna like this if you're. In here. And he likes Mega Man a lot. <laughs> the space thing I'm over the character is fucking killing me, man. That is you so fucking the honor of being deleted by me. Dude, Delete. fucking Mr. Enter wishes he could be this fucking funny dude. <laughs> Damn straight. Back off! Maybe huh? this will refresh your memory. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback! <laughs> I deleted you. I think it's time for a little payback. Yeah. Proto Man, let's show him what we can do. Hmm? He hmm? It's just... Advance. Yeah! They <laughs> really did just take so much shit. Like <laughs> yeah. Program you know what? At least with the first Program punishment, advance. he did most of it by himself, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was it wasn't like blue stacks footage of a Jurassic Park game or a scene from an anime. <laughs> it was just a fucking guy posted over. It's <laughs> the whole ass scene, goddamn. It, it did not come for brevity at fucking no. all, goddamn. It's like no, nah, here we go. Bruce is in the Did fucking chat fucking dying watching. Yeah. I feel for any Mega Man fans. I don't think so. I don't think so. Nice try, anime VTuber Josue. This is what you get for not liking Super Origami Kingdom. <laughs> this is what you fucking deserve! This is what you fucking deserve. Thank God Mega Man was there to fucking take him off of the internet for not looking at last. Super <laughs> He's the end of anime VTuber Catboy Josuimi. Yeah, okay. man. If uh, if this happens to me, it, this is going to be a long ass punishment for me because I'm a lot meaner than this guy. <laughs> yeah, you're a lot fucking meaner, dude. It's going to be like 20 minutes of like. <laughs> Blackbird's post scringe and is lynched from the tree in 12 years of slave. 
they, put, they put the fucking. Uh, they just put my they put my head over Solomon Northrup when he's in the tree and he's like coughing before the guy cuts him down, but they cut before the guy shows up. Oh my god! <laughs> you get what you fucking deserve. Yeah, no. At the end, we're gonna have to punish Super Origami Kingdom. We'll have you as yeah, and then have them as all. Yeah, for framing and bullying us for the past few days. Yeah, should have bullied. That's exactly what you deserve. All right, <laughs> time to get off of this. They did not take the right message away from no, me. No, they they went like, "Wow, the clown had power when he killed that man." I should kill people that disagree <laughs> with me. If people make me mad, I should hurt them. Yeah, you should go out on the street and just ask people if there they like Super Origami Kingdom. And if they Probably don't answer yes, immediately just shoot them in the head. Uh, Astro, just like, I don't, is it I don't already know over? what that is. Yeah, Mega Man, it's over. You guys can come out now. <laughs> you guys can come. What a relief. You really let it all out, huh? Yeah, wow. a sweet relief. That's, that's all bothering I would me. Say. After right. seeing that little bit of animo shit, is uh, with the Mega Man, he didn't bother fixing the hair that's on the sides. It's the same <laughs> color as his fucking outfit, <laughs> or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, and that's exactly what anime VTuber gets for framing you and your friends and including sure Super Origami Kingdom. Agreed. That's what that idiot <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. Very cool. Every single time when Shadow shows the fuck up, man. I can't help <laughs> but laugh, dude. I think it's because Shadow and Goku are like the two I recognize out of all that shit. That's right. For you and your friends. Yeah, I agree. Fucking about emotional damage. <laughs> well, guys, the thing I wanted to say is, is that I want to say thanks to all of you for helping me thanks, and my gosh. friends out to rent and exposing anime v <laughs> Thank you for I helping really us beat up this guys. 15 year old style. <laughs> it's no problem. We're just glad that we were- Yeah, see what I'm talking about? His fucking hair on the sides is the exact Yeah, it is. Suit. Yeah, the actual character's hair is like a lot darker. Uh, <laughs> Bruce, I know his name is Hub, but I also know that most people don't care. <laughs> It's but I agree it. that I agree that this person who clearly went to the effort to have these characters in this, they they probably shouldn't know. I agree, but yeah, it, it, I, I just I just can't believe that this shit even happened. <laughs> like the message that you take away from this is like, wow, it's really easy to stop someone when you have nine people do it. It's really easy to beat someone up if you have a group of people to do it. <laughs> they can't defend themselves when there's multiple people. They can't and defend I'm themselves against the T-Rex in a mobile game. All right, guys. Yeah. You can go. You can All go. Right. Now we finally got oh, to man. the I, I wish. Event. I hope Spamton comes that back. Very that was a fucking treat. And guys, I would wanted to say... <laughs> He's going to tab out of OBS and go, All event. right. I hope that all of you guys enjoy it. And uh, I hope that I might have plenty of time to continue on working the Titanic anniversary video if I may have plenty of time no, to finish No, they're just stealing from fucking JonTron now. Jesus Christ, you have no shit. And I'm well, like, he, he does a bunch of videos that are centered around um, boats the... and, like, trains. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me... So, so this is what he does. He looks at trains and boats, and yeah, he 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 oscillates between doing these weird rant videos with a bunch of Nintendo Bing Bing Wahoo characters, and then he'll just have a whole ass video of a boat <laughs> or a train. That's what the actual. This is this is like the most schizophrenic content I've ever seen. A just sad like, day for Astro Boy Olympic? Train. Oh, we gotta we gotta hold off on that one. That's, that's oh, a... what are you holding off for the anniversary? Yeah. Well, it's in four days. <laughs> well, I guess it's in four days, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> God damn, that's funny. Uh oh, for Jason the uh, Jason Gomez the dinosaur's graduation. So we can make fun of these guys. They are they are adults. They're they graduated high school. Adults. At least Jason Gomez is. <laughs> I'm looking forward for you guys to watch the Titanic anniversary video when it's going to be finished soon. 
Thanks, well, Astro Boy. Now that the rent is over, you know the drill, guys. Anime video, anime, 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 anime train, anime, anime, anime boat. Anime VTubers videos. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that that's pretty much the content. He or she will lose subscribers. And also make sure that you report this user multiple times. <laughs> so that <laughs> user <laughs> multiple times. Reported <laughs> multiple times. Fuck them. Just like, just like, make sure you go on their page and report them. Put in multiple claims, use multiple accounts. Please false flag them for terrorism, guys. They, they're bad people. They're bad people. They're not like us. Not like me and my friends. No, <laughs> we only, we only give people what they fucking deserve. <laughs> you get what you fucking Channel deserve. Will be terminated for good. So that way, this user won't bother us anymore. So be okay. sure to smash the like button, comment down below, and hit that's the That's so much easier that's so much easier than just like moving on. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> mass reporting and mass flagging their fucking channel. Mass report and mass flag the person. Do not forgive, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, make sure that you share all of their sensitive information with <laughs> With people. Button, and make sure that you leave the notification bell on so that way you don't miss another video from me. Don't forget to so guys, dox, yeah. This is yeah, the end of the true. video. I hope to see you all in a Titanic anniversary video. So stay tuned for that. My name is oh Astro Boy, blasting off, and I'll see you guys this in the next video. Treat. These guys are so fucking Yeah, funny. these these guys are incredible. I I really hope that they don't take this as a hostile act more oh, than that. They've they've clearly brought many people great joy. <laughs> they have. You know, I'm surprised they haven't already called you out because a couple days. Ah, yeah, that's probably coming. Probably, but they seem to call out this fucking kid, you know, with like 31 subs, you know. Yeah, I, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for the fucking four hour punishment session that they're going to make. <laughs> So they're gonna have they're, they're gonna, gonna have a fucking like Mario RPG boss stomp on me until I die and then uh a caption and bloody lettering will say he he deserved it. He deserved it, you know. He he laughed at our very <laughs> silly video. He deserved they're it. Gonna, they're gonna edit your face on fucking Jordan Fl <laughs> Challenge <laughs> they are Punishment number two. <laughs> I hope, I hope they, fucking, they photoshop Astro Derek Chauvin. It's fucking rancid. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just all gonna be extremely racialized punishments for me. No, oh, absolutely. You know, it's uh, like 12 years of slave, George Floyd footage, fucking Django and Chain. <laughs> They're gonna have like my head over fucking Jamie Foxx when he's upside down. And being they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna have you like change to a post. It's like say what you are, say that you're a bully, and then have you from like fucking roots, you know? Your name is bully. <laughs> Your name is bully. bully. Yeah. Just gonna be the king of the whip. Good <laughs> Say it. Oh Damn. shit! <laughs> well, yeah, this was fucking hysterical, man. Thank you for uh, popping in for this segment. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I know how much you wanted to look at these guys. Uh, yeah, I, I, I only, I was busy like early, like uh, <laughs> earlier this week when you looked at them. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But while I, I was listening to it while driving home, cut like the end of it, and I was fucking dying, dude. <laughs> I mean as hell, fucking. <laughs> fucking penis hell. You don't want to go there, man. Yeah, dude. The fucking all, all the characters just popping in, introducing their white, their dynamite gals, dude. I could not take it. And and even though dogs eating dogs is a Rosalina lover, I'm a mommy Tomoe lover. <laughs> that, that fucking kills me. Where he just openly goes like, I like this teenager from this I, this I anime wish, a lot. I wish they would have all introduced the fucking waifu dude didn't even the dino guy introduce like yeah it was uh what's yeah it was luna from my little pony yeah it was luna. Like, what i thought it was i thought it was fucking oh no no not in that video you're right it was um it was some fire emblem martha uh, mar mar something like that right marissa or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
he has a video where he's like introducing his pony waifu. And... <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm, nice. I'm so excited. If they ever shoot a single shot at me, I will shoot back. I so hate to say it. I feel good. like we could just keep going with these fucking guys. It's so it's such a treat just to look at them. They're they are very very funny. <laughs> Oh. It's like I and again, Chad. I implore you to, you know, don't don't be a loggy, don't be a jerk. Just like enjoy these guys for the surface level appeal. Um, yeah. Unless unless they do shoot a shot at me, then yeah, it's on they, site. if they do, then it, it's one hundred percent on site. Yeah, then we sluggers are going to war, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sluggers are going to war. Hard R, hard R war. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Depressed. Yeah, Appreciate absolutely. you coming yeah, on, man. It was a treat. <laughs> And uh, y'all have a, a very good night. I, oh, it was Lucina from... Uh, ah, that's probably I, right. I don't play I, those games. I don't I, play I don't either. games because, you know, I, I'm an adult man. So yeah, I, I don't either. So, I yeah, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Uh, well, thank you so much, chat. Y'all have a good night. And 